I don't have a voice. It's the yak. Hey, big cat. This sucks. I jinxed myself. I said I did. I was. You I, almost made it. I almost made it. And you came off like your biggest break of the year with this. Fuck. Yeah, my kids got sick over Thanksgiving, so I got sick. Oh, yeah. sorry. Wait. It's all right. You lost your voice or you're sick? I was sick. Okay. And on the tail end of being sick, lost my voice. Hmm. What do you want to say to that? I have nothing to say. When you have kids, you're going to get sick more than people that don't have kids. I'm not complaining. That's how life happens. That's how. That's the circle of life. Your kids do that classic kid cough, <coughs> or the whatever it sounds like. <coughs> I can't everywhere. do the kid cough. Uh, everything, it's just wiping noses, all that shit. All right, I'm gonna try to power through, but I yeah. might just not talk for a little bit. I lost my voice too. Can barely talk. You sound better you than sound you've better ever than sounded. Really? Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> You have a deep voice right now. It's like, fucked up that you did that to me. Yeah, your voice is in HD right now. Uh, Dan, you know I've lost my <laughs> voice as well. <laughs> Don't you know that mine's gone out? The, yeah. uh, mine's gone too. Completely gone. That was fucked up. This is painful. <laughs> Dude, you're powering through really yeah, well. Thank you. Here's all right, <laughs> you jerk. Uh, all right, here's what we're gonna do. Yak, where's everyone? Where's Ron and Sass? Hey, Sass said he was right gonna there. be live late. Ron's on on an island, I think. Rome, yeah, Rome is on some sort of tropical island. I think the boy, Will Compton, might be showing up at any moment now. There we go. Um, all right, so here's what we're going to do. Yak, go to the Barstool Sports Store right now, 20% off, everything in the store. If you buy something on the Yak uh, branded site, so click Yak, if you buy any Yak item, you're automatically entered to win a uh, one of our Pizza Hut Jackets, can we show it? Warm-up jackets from uh, Yak Basketball. Vintage Pizza Hut. There's only six of them, maybe eight. Maybe eight. Uh, flip it around. Flip it around, Stephen. Come on. Show it off. They have our name. Put on? it on. Yeah. It has our names on them stitch, stitched in. I feel like Stephen's making me talk more. Yeah. yeah Stephen's just, why is he mute? Why is he covering why up the name? Doing? Just talk. Stephen, talk to us. Jesus fucking right, Christ. Sorry. Yeah. It was on, too? These are, yeah, these are the Pizza Hut jackets. They're awesome. Yeah, throw They're, it on. We all... We all uh, Kind of were surprised when these came out for the event. It was uh, very cool. It fit great. Very old school feel. I love them. Why were you just doing that muted? And they did not let us keep them. What? Why were you just showing it off muted? You said go get it and hold it up. That's what I was doing. It's true. Fuck. All right. Hey, you had a... Well, I'll, I'll finish. Let's All finish right. So well. if you buy anything in the Barstool Sports Store, Yak related, You're gonna, we're yeah. going to just say the names. Like... Every five minutes, we'll just pick someone randomly who gets that for free. Let's say their full nice. names, and we have their address as well. Yeah. Let's say yeah. that, too. We're going to do that. And then, on top of that, whoever buys the most yak stuff in this hour and a half of the show. It's my chair. No. Oh. I will fly them to New York, one-night hotel. They can come hang out and watch an episode of the Yak from the booth. Oh, live audience. Yes. That, I want them sitting there. And I'd imagine you'd get a chance to talk. If I'd imagine. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's Pilar, can you whatever. update us what the the amount is that's the, like, leader in the clubhouse? It's going to be DiMartino. Yeah. yeah probably. <laughs> Martino. Yeah. Um, the Yak Kiss Coins are out now. We have 999 in the store. Uh, 400 have already sold. They came out. They Why 999? I've kept one for rigs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, only four four hundred have sold. Yeah, I believe so. But how many do we have total? Nine hundred ninety nine. Oh, you just said that. Okay, yeah. You mean like out oh, there? it's good. You're sick as a dog. Well, it comes with the <laughs> yeah. I can barely what? hear either. Oh no, that, that was sick? just the email oh. that was sent out. Yeah, me and Big Cat, we lost our voices. <laughs> I can barely hear either. My ears are ringing. His voice sounds fine. Can't even Mine tell. Doesn't. I got you more. Are, sick. You're a warrior oh, right shoot. now. Shoot, I'm batting like two fifty on. Sex. Hey, I don't like what Sash just did. He's about he to do it. Yeah. Walked in. It was like. Wait, you guys are you guys are all sick? Like I want to talk about this. I mean, listen to us. Well, you guys sound <laughs> terrible. I sound terrible. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's why you trust text. me. I, I almost you didn't come no in. Voice. <laughs> what? You texted saying you had no voice. Yeah. But I I I, I, I was super sick too. So I'm I'm right here with you boys. Uh, here we go. I can't yeah. anymore. Yeah. I beat it. I was so sick like two months ago. So I no. I've, I've been, been sick, sick for like a month. Yeah. You've been sick a lot. Yeah, I know. My mom thinks I have autoimmune problems. Mm. AIDS. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How was your guys' breaks? Huh? 
Great, I lost my voice. I'm not, I'm not going to talk a lot during this episode. You guys need okay. to. So, yeah. So, what do we got? F- uh, any other things with merch? No, that's the so big We're going to have somebody in the booth. We got the, the, the jackets big in yes. the booth. Okay. I, I gave tweet my jacket away, right right so somebody will be getting my Yak basketball oh, jersey. I gave both away. Very limited edition, covered in sweat and pizza crumbs. Oh. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah, very good. I, and Big Cat, I, way to sweeten the pot. M- Yak Live, do mm-hmm. they get to pick the episode? And you know how, how does that work? How yeah. we are, they'll just end up just yeah, they'll just be with us. They'll probably be on the show from now on. Yeah, it, it's a chance for chance of getting hired from that. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. What do we got, Chay? First jacket has been given away, randomly Ooh. selected. Patrick A. Patrick A. We can't give away his last name, but oh, no. Patrick A. Uh, Pat a. a jacket. Mm-hmm. Appreciate the support. Slice. What? Whose uh, jacket are they getting? Names on the uh, right. On it. Mediums. He's a medium, so PFT. It should be on. Ah, oh, oh bad. Go based on size. That's a damn good one. That's a really that's good, good one. one. What's up with the telethon today? There's like a goal out there. Yeah, we're gonna be doing some soccer, I guess. I guess Clemmer and is playing a goalie. You get a thousand bucks if I think you score on him or something. There's eight. Really? Go- there's eight yes. goalies. It feels like just a free thousand dollars. That's yeah. free thousand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's eight yeah. goalies, and if you say if you get a save, you get a thousand dollars, and if you don't. If you don't save it, I don't know who gets the thousand dollars. It goes to some sort of fund. What, am I saying it wrong? There's an email. Why are you acting like I don't like Stephen Chase's face there? You've heard of that. I wasn't just make it up. I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't know the deals of the soccer thing tonight. You you're looking at me, and so I. Okay, for every for 10k me. that gets sold, a siren goes off, and there will be a kick on the goal. And eight previously selected barstool goalies will try to save each kick. So there's going to be eight different goalies. Who's the eight goalies? I don't know. You can see um, it. Oh, Jerry's Big one. Uh, Clemmer's one. If, Clemmer's one. Tico's one. So if the goalie saves it with one of the eight, they get one K per save. If they don't save it, barstool will be giving away two tickets per goal to random stoolies for an event of their choosing. So like rough and rowdy, okay. like a live event, whatever. Um, if we sell a certain amount, they're going to be giving away two Super Bowl tickets or two Taylor Swift tickets to a random person, Jesus. and they'll all be announced on the stream follow the Monday Night Football stream following the telethon. Huh. So that's all in the Barstool blog too. It's crazy. Goalies are Jerry Keeg, Spider, Big T, Tico, Tommy Smokes, Nadu, Flemmer. So what if? <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I, I'm, if you have one kick on each of them, what are you going? Like probably left. No, I'm oh. saying like out of eight. <laughs> who am I picking? To you shoot? got brain fog. You're sick as hell. Who am I p- picking? Oh, no, you have you going have, eight out of eight. hundred percent. You're going eight out. Of big. T- oh, tops. oh no. no. I learn. I just, also. I'm never overestimating. Jerry's my sport, stops, my too. athletic ability. I, I'd probably go like three for eight. Like I go. You know, you go five for eight. Oh. Also, I think Clemmer's gonna. Clemmer's okay. gonna have like goalie gloves. I, and shit. Yeah. yeah, word. No, you'd go five for eight. Trust me. I'm bad, done playing sports. I tried ice skating. Just couldn't do it. Did you go to Rockefeller Center? Uh, in North Carolina. Oh. So crowded with kids. If I had more space, I would have been fine. Did you go figure skates or hockey skates? <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> oh, yeah, hockey skates. You pegged me as a figure skate figure kind of guy. Skate. I can see you twirling out there. Shit. What's the, uh, what's the difference? Uh, the figure skates are like... Figure skates are straight. brown and the hockey <laughs> skates are black. Yeah, that is the big difference, really. <laughs> figure skates have like the spikes on the top so you can twirl. Yeah. Mm. All right, what do we got with the World Cup standing? All right, this is going to get very interesting. Cause yes. there was, Nothing we predicted was... There was a very big game today. You, Serbia you, got three points. You and Roan got three goals apiece in a 3-3 draw. Yep. So now it's it's changed a lot. Za might be in real trouble depending on what Brazil's oh, doing shit. right now. Or could Brazil he, just play? So could Brazil he not just win played. and lose? Did we ever consider this? He could win and That's lose. That's insane. Yeah, we never thought about That's that. That's insane, but that can't. Although, I don't think he could win. And, no, no, because Brazil would have to score in the next. They would have four more games after. Uh, yeah, they can, I don't know if you can win. and It would be insane. I'm in trouble. Mm-hmm. Next but trouble, yeah. all three of my teams are looking to move on. What is is MP matches played? It is. Probably, yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. So I have Uruguay going today, Argentina tomorrow. Uh I think the key here is you want your teams to move on. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who yeah, but but the, you, you need them to score the most. They're going to play their weakest opponents in this round. So you need them to score now. Right, but like they're going to play good more teams games when they mo- more opportunity to score. Yeah, but if you're like in the next round, it's I'm just try not to lose. Eight of them are going to lose and they might get shut out. Like there's no guarantee you're going to score goals if you move through. 
You need to score right, now. but there is a guarantee you won't score goals if you don't move through. Correct. That that is that is correct. Uh, what happened? Uh, yeah, yeah. So Brazil not just good. won one to nothing. That's not good That's for Zah. for Zah. No, he's still in last. I started City of God yesterday. First eight minutes, I'm hooked. <clears throat> Great movie. When City of stop? God. That's a that city of some movie. That's one about the photographer, right? You stopped after eight minutes. Yeah, like, but but after the eight, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm not done with this movie. I'm gonna watch more. So you yeah, just hope you still on my attention span is so trash. I could I could do eight minutes straight, and then I'm like, all right, I gotta go play. So it was an eight minute tryout, and you know that. And I know that it was the eight minutes. First eight minutes is good enough. I'm I'm gonna be right. in. I'm so gonna, they're on the roster now. Right, you just so got a long term goal to finish that movie. Do you think if you ranked your favorite movies and your favorite first eight minutes of movies, it would be a different list? Oh yeah, yeah. I can't think of any examples off the top. But yeah, yeah. All W, hundred eighty seven dollars top spender right now in the uh, Barstool store for the yak. Maybe you, yeah, you bring your yeah. laser pointer in? It Ooh. hasn't arrived yet. I made some moronic purchase. <laughs> oh, what the Reboarded fuck is that? No, mine's better than that. Him, what? Whatever that is. What's what? The, the laser pointer on you. Do you not see it? Yeah, but did you think it was mine? <laughs> it's at me. I, did, I never thought it was yours. I said it's better than whatever's on you. That's obviously. Oh, you. Yes. Ha- oh, fuck. <laughs> Where did you think it was coming from? Uh, yeah, good. Yeah, dude, I'm. <laughs> Sick as a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Holy talk. Yeah, I got a laser pointing point directly right. across the room. Oh, it's uh, Kyle. You were bored in North Carolina and you just bought stuff. You guys were gambling on the games, and I'm, yeah. I'm not doing that yet. Um, so I bought a st- I bought some stuff. You got a Class C, Pluto grade laser pointer. Yeah. What green. color is that? What's green. that mean? It's green. Is that the it's kind that can like purple. stop an airplane pilot from being able to? Oh yeah. yeah. The green ones can pop balloons. Really? Green ones are good. Yeah. Whoa. I was driving to the to the train this morning with my mom was driving me and there was a bus in front of us and I was shining it at the kids in the bus. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. gonna pass them out to a bunch of homeless guys yeah. and just see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna take down a plane. <laughs> this is just a shitty one though. I got this when I was a little kid, brought it home. In middle school, that was like the hot item to yeah, have. Oh, you were yeah. god if you had a laser yep. pointer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You could put They're the filters fun. on them that f- said like fuck you or I had the filter up the mud yeah. flap woman. Oh, yeah, the yeah, lady who's yeah. sitting. Oh, nice. Yeah. This one's pretty <laughs> shitty, actually. That's not a bad one. It's longer, at least. It's not one of those bullet sized ones. No. Wouldn't put a fresh pair of double or triple A's in it today. Mm. Oh, damn. So yeah. it's shining brighter than ever. Oh, yeah. But it's like 10 years old, so it's. Do we have like live updates on who's buying, who's in the lead? I think Pilar's in there. Yeah, every 10 minutes. Can we, like, can we set it up to, so we can all see? I'm curious. Because no, yeah. a bunch uh, of people's personal information will be all over it. I'm cool with that. Shit. Perfectly fine with that. Yeah, I I had fun watching the zero to zero USA game. I did too. It kept me. It was exciting. It was exciting. Yeah. That that uh, Pulisic shot off the crossbar. It was frustrating. It was frustrating. It was very. But it kept me. You know, I wasn't distracted at no, all. I've, I've been into the World Cup. Yeah. I haven't watched it as much because the times are just so weird. But when I have watched, it's been interesting. <laughs> the next round will be more a lot better. Mm-hmm. Donnie's thriving in Qatar. That is oh, the yeah. most. <laughs> it, 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 that is the perfect dude. country for him. We've yeah. gone on so many trips with him, and whenever he's without us, he has a blast. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. Huh. Did PFT already come Fun back? Suckers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's here. Hey, Cat, come on, talk a little. You know, if you whisper, it actually makes your <laughs> I mean, voice. Kyle's better. sick. He's no, talking. it actually. Makes <laughs> <voice>. no, I'm <laughs> in pain, though. I understand where he's going. I want to talk. <laughs> I have to do two more shows after this. Uh, it's like okay. the worst. It's the only Monday all year that I have to do a bunch of shit. You on the tea? What? You sipping yeah. tea? Yeah, I'm sipping tea. I'm looking a lemon juice. I'm buy some soup. You want soup? Yeah. Gotta get spring Maybe I'll just, in the kitchen. I should just sit out because it's weird for me to be here. Not talk. I think, yeah, you're, we, I think you're a warming presence. He's oh, warming we, out. We got the college football show too. Thirty. Go ahead and take well, a break. Let's let's spin the wheel. All right. You can take it. Uh, maybe. Then that way, Taylor. Someone is Will going to be here? I add a wedge to my wheel. Scream wheel. <laughs> <laughs> will I, everything I, you I have? Heard in he you. was going to be in the office, and I text him and I said, "Are the rumors true?" And he said, "Not those, but I'll be in the office today." <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know what it could be. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what is something I would know? <laughs> no, not those really bad ones. <laughs> no, not those. I don't know where you heard that from. <laughs> um, I hope you don't believe those, but no, I'll be in the office today, though. If you want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, Mason K. Oh, Mason K. New leader. Go. Mason K. I think I know them. Masonk. That's right. 
Okay, you still okay? You still off the beers? Yep. Like on twenty three days. It's not. It didn't. It doesn't hit the same as last time. Mm. I'm on the beers hard, harder than ever. Yeah. I was in Pittsburgh and I went to the Steeler game and I just had to had to go icy light mangoes. It's like drinking a Capri Sun. Oh like, yeah. I think I had. Ooh. 200? <laughs> That's not bad. Not bad. They were tall boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I assumed so. And how'd you get home? You didn't fly. Oh, it was the worst experience. <laughs> what was the fucking life? You so you took a, but not any ordinary bus. <laughs> took a, a Flix bus. What is that? Like the take lime the green one? Take the bus every time. Well, no, I was in Rochester. It was lime green? Yeah, I was stranded in Rochester. Um, and uh, there was no flight, and the train from Rochester here was sold out today and tomorrow. And so I had to buy a bus ticket, usually a round t- trip ticket to Rochester and back's like 60 bucks. Yeah. One way, this was 145. <laughs> Damn. Got the last seat on the bus, 20A. I go onto the bus yesterday morning in Rochester, like a sketchy bus stop in Rochester. Uh, walk, I'm like looking at the, you know, the numbers as you do as you're walking down the aisle. I'm just like this bus isn't fucking long enough. Oh, last seat, that's brutal. The last seat in the bus was 16, and they were like, yeah. "Yeah, we sent the wrong bus. You could just sit anywhere." And this one guy's seat was where the bathroom was, and the bus driver's like, "You can sit in the bathroom if you want." I was like, "No, <laughs> Jesus no. Christ, that's <laughs> fuck." And the guy just the kid just like leaned. You can sit in the bath if you want. Yeah. <laughs> and so the bathroom, that's an option, I guess. But like our our bus driver, like, I walk in, and he just has, like, a very full ashtray. He was, like, smoking cigarettes. I like that move. Um, but the bathroom, which I was sitting right next to, if you used it, there were these fucking water jugs, and you had to grab a water jug and pour it in the toilet to flush. <laughs> oh, Jesus. God. It was a- What the fuck? It, it, was supposed, it was supposed to leave at 11 a.m., and I was supposed to get here at 5. I got back at, like, 8.30 p.m. Let's just oh rent a car God. next time. You just I don't have a license. Oh. <sighs> Just, just fly. Yeah. Expired. My license expired as soon as I moved to New York, and now I've been in New York for two years. Your license. And if I want to get my license again, I have to retake my driver's oh. test. That's insane. I'm that so, is also I'm, insane. I'm what? Fucked across the board. I just can't believe you have to take your driver's test again. New York. Uh, Nick, it's like a twenty-minute flight from Rochester. Yeah. You know how small that plane would be? No, it's not that small. Uh, they were sold out. Really? I didn't look. No, you didn't. But no, it was a it was a very very hor- there were no outlets on the bus, dude. That is brutal. And the last time it was the dude that was just throwing up the whole yeah. time. Oh, the last time was that guy that the had plastic like, bags. That was a mega bus. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the the whole top part of the bus was like empty, but he sat next to me with all these bags. Immediately starts puking. Then I get up and move. But uh, yeah, bus experiences aren't great. The Greyhound is the worst though. And that's still better than any other option for you. Like mentally, that's still. No, as soon as I got on the bus, I was just like, I need to. I think it cured my fear. <laughs> yeah, that's not worth it. This dude was going back to take a shit, and it took like two of the jugs of water to flush it out. <laughs> oh, no. We had to pull over so we could <laughs> refill the jugs of water. <laughs> it was a really, really bad experience. I'm gonna go down to that river, <laughs> fill the jugs. This woman accused me of stealing her phone because it fell off her lap when she was asleep, and it slid up to my like area. Bad. <laughs> Slid back to my area. That's a nightmare. I took it. I feel like the Amtrak, like you shouldn't. I took it this morning. I just got in and I had to sit at a table on the Acela, yeah. which it feels like that should be like a cheaper. Like they, like you shouldn't be paying for the same seat that everyone else is paying for and then get stuck in the table. Yeah. It's like assigned seats and I'm sitting with a whole family. <laughs> yeah. So it's like me, the dad, one of the kids, the mom and a baby. And I'm in the window seat just sitting there. And it's like, this is super awkward. But I'm paying the yeah. same as the people that are sitting behind me with their whole row to themselves. They were assigned seats, though? Or no? Yeah, if you take the oh. Acela, it's assigned yeah, seats. Do your respective towns have, like, gangs of iPhone thieves, especially when they first came out? Mm. Yes. Zars did. I remember Those ours. were the coolest guys in town. Oh, they were so good at stealing iPhones. They would go to the Wheeling Park pool and just hit lick after lick. They would, like, also, like, when you buy a shitty house and flip it, they would flip the iPhones. They would put, like, custom-colored cases. Yeah. They would j- yeah. Um, Did you ever get your stolen? I, n- I didn't have an iPhone until college. Yeah. I had a Windows phone. Mm. I got it because it looked like a Pokedex. Oh, hell yeah. What? 
Sorry. What? Uh, <laughs> Polka dots. Play, you My can, bad. You can another, another jacket off the board? Who's it going to? We have another jacket. Looks like uh, a female Yak fan. Yeah, oh, okay. Lady Yak. Rachel M. She's going to be getting Billy's jacket. Whoa, Rachel. 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 I want to do a Lady Yak jacket. <clears throat> like the pink lady is like. Oh, oh yeah. DJ, can you spin the wheel and then I'll go sit one. at my desk? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, for, just me and Rachel. Kyle, are you taking the uh, Amtrak tomorrow off to Boston? Yeah, what is what is how? I already got work. I already got my Amtrak ticket that got emailed to me. Uh oh. Oh yeah, I am then. Look at that. What are wow. These? That's right. That's crazy. Yeah. So when we get a wheel reset, it resets our individual name wheels as well. I think. So you. Like, well, we yeah, haven't really. The death of Yak Sliver. Oh, okay. You agree, Dan? Yes. Oh, All yeah, right, I'm gonna go sit at my desk. I'll come back for the end to see who we're flying to. <laughs> Headphone just fell apart. Like shit. I'm sorry, everyone. It's okay. 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 I feel like you are representing how pretty much everyone, even everyone listening, feels after Thanksgiving break. Yeah. Like I feel like you don't come out of this refreshed. Like you come no, out. No, it a sucks so much. Right? Yeah. No. You go home and like this is gonna be great, like a nice relaxing week. It's not, it usually no, never is. Come out Relax dragging. too much. You eat too many carbs. Yeah. I got sick. Do you, do you want to sub sick. someone in? Yeah. No, Get for, we'll Will Will and Taylor. Oh yeah. yeah. Mike R, 223. Way to go, Mike. Woo. Somebody want to hit an ad? We have three. Oh, yeah. Brandon, you have, you're the least sick. I don't think Kate's sick. Kate, are you sick? <laughs> okay. All right. The black lung. It's never too early to play holiday music, and it's never too early to start thinking about gifts. Manscaped, whether it's for a friend or friends in your pants. Okay. You can make this season a jolly to be manscaped. Do your little drummer boy a, f a favor. Hi, all right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. <laughs> they call him the penis a little drummer yes. boy? <laughs> Do your little drummer boy a favor oh, and use the lawnmower 4.0 to avoid another silent night in the bedroom. The penis being a boy is funny. <laughs> <laughs> the whole dick. It's, a, it's obviously a boy. Santa cares <laughs> about his sack, and so should you. Look nice when you get naughty and get free shipping and 20% off by going to manscaped.com slash yak. The Manscaped Platinum Package 4.0 is the one-stop shop for the man who deserves it all. It has everything needed to help you deck the halls from face to balls just in time for mistletoe season. The Platinum Package includes the Lawnmower 4.0 Waterproof Electric Trimmer, the Weed Whacker Ear, Nose, and Hair Trimmer, the 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner, the Body Wash Aloe Infused Hydration Deodorant, which is aluminum-free, Crop Preserver Anti-Chafing Ball Deodorant, and Crop Reviver Ball Spray, and the Magic Mat Disposable Shaving Mats. And for the perfect stocking stuffer, Add in the brand new Body Buffer, an incredible body scrubber that makes exfoliating easy and a lot cleaner than that old loofah. Get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash yak. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash yak. Manscaped, get your jingle balls ready for the holidays. Rum, pump, pump. That was good. Um, I got a question nice. for the fellas. Yeah. Mm. Ask away. Would you rather your dick look big or feel big? Oh. <laughs> Fe wait, wait, uh, wait. Big. Time out, time out, time out. Do uh. you mean feel big? Feel big to you or feel big to the, to the partner? Okay. Feel big. Well, I thought you meant feel big to me. So there's some days it just does. I just I don't think anyone ever really gets a good look at my penis. <laughs> what about you? Oh, you're talking about to your own self? No, 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 no. It's I'm not. Yeah. Wait, just, wait Kyle. It's what do you very mean? easy to not let that to. So anyone no who, one gets like a a good, good anyone view. who partners with you doesn't. No, get I mean that. I mean that's not that weird if you think I'm about just, it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Start hor You start laying down. Lights are yeah. Lights are low. You're lighting right. is low. And you take off the drawers last second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so feel big because that is, that is, that does help. That helps your psyche when it when it feels big. It's, I I'm gonna go look. But look big and feel small. Yeah. <laughs> My like fat ass. Long and it feels it just goes like away. It's like a where this where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, did you know the average penis size in like Ecuador is like seven inches? Really? Yeah. I looked it up last night. Um uh, what did you look up? Like six point nine five or something. What Google got you there? I don't know. I was like, it, sometimes when I'm in bed, I just get real curious. I, Ecuador? Yeah, up average is that like some Galapagos? Oh, the Galapagos is skewing. Like, I thought Ecuador was one of the shorter countries, though. Definitely. Big penises. Oh, believe really. it was Ecuador. Um, sh that, with the Hispanics, the height does not correlate. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah? Yep. <laughs> Doesn't matter at all, huh? Oh. I mean, I'm sure. Too. 
Average penis size by country. Al G. Ecuador. Top spender. Ecuador. Ecuador is number one. Wow. It's. I mean, what is the Galapagos Islands are skewing the poll? I can't fathom. It's based on. Do you penis think penis size versus their height. dick is ten percent of their height? No one has a bigger dick than a tortoise researcher. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I think they're the people on that island are. Again, go back to the list. Your height is nuts. Wow. Libya, Sudan. Where sense. are we? Senegal. We're low. Mm. We're pretty low. Or we're like about in the middle, I think. It's fine. Yeah, there we are. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Who's really? at the bottom? We're, we're about 5.6. Uh, fuck you, Eat Russia. Japan by one? Huh. <laughs> yeah, that ain't, that ain't right. <laughs> 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 Okinawa skewing the, the average. <laughs> Is it a radiation thing? <laughs> I watched, uh, have you guys ever seen um, Black Phone, that new Ethan Hawke movie? No. Uh-huh. It sucks. I thought it was supposed to be scary. It is. It's not. I watched uh, <laughs> I watched Prisoners. You guys have seen that, the Jake Gyllenhaal movie? It's really good. That movie's phenomenal. And I wanted to watch a movie like that, so I looked up movies like Prisoners. And then I was well, I watched it with my family, and we watched Black Phone, and it sucked. Mm. Really not great at all. Not scary at all, either. Unless you're a pussy. pussy. Yeah. I started watching that one. It's a TV show where Sylvester Stallone is in the mob and he gets out of 25 years Tulsa of prison. King. And they're like, King. we're sending you to Tulsa. And he's like, he's in the bar in Tulsa. He's like, gobble what are we doing here? Oh, I'm not from here. It's great. It's really. Sending you to Tulsa. It's like bad good, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. I also yeah. watched the worst movie. I skimmed through the worst movie. I love I've skimming seen. through movies. What was it? It's called Mother and Son. It was a Russian movie, like film buffs, like re- like rave about it. Okay. Yeah, Uh-oh. that pisses me off. You a mother and son guy? There's no way. Yeah, I mean, that this one, I think it's on YouTube. With that infuriates me when I look up a list of like best thrillers. There's and it's n- like number one, 1943, this black mo- and white movie. Yeah. I, uh, I love Jeff and Ken Jack. They've suggested me so many movies. There's no way Seven Samurai could be that good. Dude, it sucks. <laughs> Mother and son Close. is like wa- it was like watching a painting because like p- nothing would move for like five minutes. Look it up on YouTube and just go to a rant, scroll to a random part in it. And I bet you n- nobody moves. Really, this movie <laughs> sucked. Did people, Dude, are you sure you're like the slideshow on your smart TV just didn't come up? <laughs> uh, yeah. What's the oh Citizen Kane? Yeah, that's supposed movies. to be the best movie ever. Ass. Rosebud. I mean, they're like not bad movies, but just like compared to like modern movies. I mean, Citizen Kane holds up pretty pretty well. You think? Yeah. No, I've, I've not seen it. Would you? So you would you say Citizen Kane is better than like The Dark Knight? Yeah. No, Brandon. I don't lie to yourself. I, it's The Dark Knight was fine. Good. It's, it's, it's good. got to be better than Mike Citizen B. Kane. Four twenty. I don't know, but like I love uh, Twilight Zone. I love watching old episodes of The Twilight Zone. Mike B. Yeah. You rascal. Twilight Zone's good. Or, not, it, like it, they're not bad movies. It's just I I don't think that they should be ranked. So high up just because they're old. I think they should be ranked yeah. lower. Yeah, I think things. Where are did old. you even find that movie, Kyle? There was like a TikTok of like, I bet you haven't seen these movies. Or like the true film buffs have seen a certain amount of these movies. You took it I as a challenge. random one. I'll show it looked them. like a vibe. God, yeah, it wasn't was a vibe at all. No. It was kind of frightening. I can't imagine watching a Russian movie. You d- there was no dialogue. What was City there of God on no- there? Is that what you're watching? No, City that the, yeah, no, I just watched that on my own. Hey, Have you guys seen City of God? I haven't. I don't cons- I don't watch a lot of movies. Yeah, Mike B. City of God's really good. What's City oh. of God? Oh, you have a new jacket to give away. Give it up. Ooh. Tyler T. Gets the first. Uh, he's getting Lil Sass's jacket. Nice. Oh, wow. Wow. Nice. Size large. Wow. Woohoo. Nice. Thanks, Tyler Good T. Good job, Tyler T. These are fun to fidget with. They are. I'm, I'm dual wielding. I'm a Kimbo right now. My son has been playing with the one, and I'm afraid he's going to drop it on his toes. It's heavy. It is heavy. It's heavy, it's but he loves good. it. Great children's gift as Virtual well. wheels are everywhere now. Yeah. I keep. I'm like, oh, fuck, that's our thing. And I keep reminding myself, like, we didn't. Not at all. Literally invent the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do that. No, we didn't. But no, they are. I mean, it's the best way to decide things. Save this show. It was ass on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. That transition was tough. Yeah, it was. It really brought me down. There's really thin tables we had in here. Oh, that was so bad. Oh, that's and the, I we forgot had, about that. Every other chair was different. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. A table was like the width of a balance. <laughs> yeah. Those tables didn't last long. to do long. with that? <laughs> I totally forgot oh, about. We that. kept breaking these every time. Yeah, they would just snap right off. 
But then I think we were doing it as an act of rebellion. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we just started. We just started breaking them. Yeah. What, did we have the same? Did we have the serious setup at first? I think we got rid of it, and we cha- we had those. Half the room was that little table, and half the room was these, was these chairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as the serious deal ended, they were in here to right destroy. Yeah, they got yeah. their shit. They got their shit and left. I liked that setup though. That flying V table. Yeah, I liked I that a it lot. Too. I don't know what it is. I still do it's wish we had j- that. It's jarring when you see a clip from them. Though. I know. Yeah. yeah. I wish we were a chest and above show. Mm. That's your best part? Rather than full body. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. You only had to worry about... Because back then, I thought cool outfits were centered around the top. It is. It's not. Not anymore, because now it's, it's all, cool all outfits all are legs. centered around the pants. This is a, this is a legs show. Big time. Mm-hmm. Big time. I saw a legless dude on TikTok Live, <laughs> like on the treadmill. What? Yeah. Just running straight on the And stands? Dude, I only watched like three seconds and I got bored because it's like every yeah. other video is so. They're feeding me like guys with deformities <laughs> and dis- extreme disabilities so they, on TikTok Live, like guys with n- half a face DJing. It's that's it's, yeah. there's and there's infinite amounts of those guys. I follow this live shrimp dance party. I see it all the time, so I always you? click. I follow it now. It's they play techno music and it's little shrimps just are always moving their little feet around, and it's mesmerizing. Yeah. I watch a live yeah. shrimp dance party all the time. I got a TikTok that was like a four-second Theo Vaughn joke. It was like, uh, it was something about like the, the the strain of weed he smokes is cocaine or something. I get that a lot. Yeah, but yeah. it was like a four-second joke, but they still did a. Yeah, I know. Half it's half it's, half it's, half it's half phonetic half. sand. And now I get. I, I was love watching. It. Yeah. I love the phonetic sand. Phonetic. Yeah. <laughs> sand. <laughs> Dude. Uh, I gotta take my new tropics. My brain is kind of fucked. No, you are on death's door, brother. Yeah. Um, Why are you so sick? Dude, fake and just regular yeah. common cold is funny. <laughs> <laughs> I have the, the worst cold. Um, I might have to get on that. My brain's been foggy as hell. My brain's been so clear foggy. As clear as day. I thought going sober would help, but nope. No, not at all. Here than ever. Yeah. I don't want to jump on the bandwagon, but same. Like, I can't remember. I, it's like little things. Like, if you ask me what I did yesterday, I'm like, uh, I have no idea. Yeah, my memory is Say. bad. Yeah. yeah, and I can't tell you, even if I have something scheduled next week, I won't know until the day before. Like, I just can't put it into the future. Oh, no. It. You know, scary. I tried to read a book this past week. I haven't what, done that in a while. What was the topic about, though? Uh, parenting. Okay. It being a good mom. But I, and I literally, I would get halfway down like one paragraph and my eyes would start to go cross. And I'm like, I can't do it. I can't read anymore. This is it. Yeah, I'm you got to get a good book. That's why. Yeah, maybe it's the book. Probably reading a bad book. Yeah. Get something easy. Yeah. Goodbye, Brandon. There's so many bad books, which shouldn't be a thing. I think if you have the ability to write a book, it should be good. But fuck. I read something that like, uh, to get onto like the New York Times bestseller list, you only have to sell like seven thousand copies. So a lot of authors just buy crates and crates of their own. Yeah. To get on the. But that on seems the impressive, though. Unless you're like already a superstar. Yeah, but like the New York How do you Times even bestseller market a list. Book? I think a it's a lot like of impossible. Read. Where do you go to like wh- where's like the ads for books? I mean, I have a Kindle, and so it just like get ads. And you get new uh, ads. And I, those are all. I, I mean, do you get ads from like? I feel like the ads that I get are from authors that I'm already reading. Yeah, that or I'll get ones that are like way off base. I got one that was about a fire breathing unicorn, and it was like a. a probably sounds like it's not That's way right off base. But no, it does. Yeah. It sounds like something. Yeah. You know, that that wasn't my that wasn't my speed. <laughs> I just usually trust when I walk in the bookstore, like I trust that rack that's like, here's the ones everyone's liking right now. I'm like, all right. I hate the term, don't judge a book by its cover, because the covers make... It sells uh, the book for yeah. me 100% of the time. That's the only thing you have to go that's off. the only thing I judge it on. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I'll read like the first 50 pages, see if it's for me, and then... I, I also like it when the uh, the edges of the pages are uneven, so it makes it look like an older book. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love that. Yeah. <sighs> like the series of unfortunate events did that. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's been through the ringer a few times. I remember at the Scholastic Book Fair, I pretended to like this book called The Divide because it opened up from the middle out. It was so <laughs> sick. That is cool. Yeah. Book it fair used up. to be fun. Yeah, the cover was split and you'd open up middle out. I never once bought something from the book fair, but I remember kids would always go with like $200 and buy like toys. I was just transitioned into like a toy store at one point. I don't know if you guys. 
definitely did, and they always had like magic kits. Yeah. I once hid in the uh, in the in the book fair, and when the teacher took the whole class back, I was successfully hid, and I stayed there the rest of the afternoon. And in the was, book fair? And the, yes, I just oh, I loved. The did you read? Yeah. Stayed crouched behind. No, I, I was hiding. I wasn't. I stayed crouched <laughs> behind the. Uh, it was just a big gray rack. I stayed behind the rack for like three hours. <laughs> awesome. I didn't know if I if I got up and went back, then I thought I'd get in trouble for going back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't notice me, obviously, so I just I just wrote it out. I wasn't a bad kid ever. I was like, I loved rules. Same. I was so afraid to get in trouble. I used I was yeah, a wanderer for sure. Too. You were a wanderer? Yeah, in school. No way. I would lapse. Go to the bathroom and just take laps around the school. I was so afraid of germs in high school. I've never been in a high school bathroom. Oh, really? Yeah. That's. Ever? Ever. The I didn't pee? pee? I held my what pee all day. Life. That's crazy. I had to shit once, and my my uh, the woman that cut my hair, my beautician, Lisa, had to come pick me up. <gasps> that sucks so much. I had nobody else shit to call. so like, often. Where did that come from? Do you know? Like, is there, like, a single thing that happened that you were like, man, can't do Shitting this? in public bathrooms is miserable. The first time I was ever afraid of something, uh, I was horrified of anthrax as a kid. <laughs> And was it the news? Was it like what it was, was the it? news that got me? And but my mom was like hyper afraid of it as well. She was like checking our envelopes in the mail. Mm-hmm. And uh, oh yeah, I remember my mom with like a mask and gloves inspecting every piece. Very of afraid mail. of anthrax. And so it was when Pepsi Blue was out, and I went and bought one, and I drank it, and I realized I didn't remember cracking it. I think it was already opened, and I thought it was anthrax in there, and I had a panic attack for the first time ever. And ever it was in first then? grade. Yeah. Ever since then, I didn't do germs, didn't do anything that would, I don't know. That's my correlation. Motherfucker, oh. Brandon G. spent $562 oh, on that Oh, jeez. Brandon G. What could, a true G. let's build a cart that could be up to 562 I don't even know what you could. Yeah. You got to up our numbers. overlaps with the, the other. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. that guy is getting a tour. Free We're going to meet Brandon G. Yeah, $500 gets you in here. Hell for a tour. yeah. You see the bussing with the boys, how much those guys were spending? That had to have been somebody yeah. that plays for, like, the It had to be. Or, like, yeah. somebody that's, like, $5,000. That's a lot oh, of money. That, yeah. Shit. Whoever wins, I will send you $50. <laughs> yeah. Soften, yeah. Um, uh, Commit it. I'll, I'll, I'll also I, I can do Venmo or PayPal, nothing. You do Apple Pay. No, Apple Pay. Mm. I love giving the tours. I used to like those Barstool Gold tours. Yeah. I used to really enjoy that. You ever get any creeps? I don't know. Nah, there was... Well, the, there was the one the guy time... guy who stole stuff off somebody's desk. A girl's desk that worked here yeah. and then DM'd her to get it back. Yeah, yeah, that was creepy. Power that move. was weird. Um, but no, I would like go across the street and have beers with people afterwards. Like, I really... That's creepy on, on its own. On my, on my yeah. end, that was creepy by me. Yeah. You were addicted to alcohol. Uh, I time. was. I had yeah. a problem. <laughs> yeah. Any excuse. Yeah, any excuse. Um... But no, I really like doing it. I think I, I I almost took the test to be a New York City tour guide. There's like an official test you have to take. When I used to study for it, this was like nearly a decade ago now. But I wanted to be like an official New York City tour guide. You'd be very good. And take I love shit yeah. like that. I love just pointing at stuff and making sure other people see what I see. I'm sure you could find a way to do that. Yeah, I still could probably. I could study up again and get my. Why don't you give these tours? I will. I would love to. I guess probably that's probably why I said it, so I could weasel my way in to be the tour guide. All right. Yeah, I think you got it. Sales drop. Like no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. Whoever has the highest return. <laughs> 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 uh. hmm. Kyle and I tried to do a, a merch thing where, like, I've always wanted to have a thermometer for sales, and so we put one out. And we were way too ambitious with the sales numbers. I was, <laughs> I was so embarrassed. <laughs> That was the, V2. We uh, even brought the numbers down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how's thermometer V2? Yeah. <laughs> how's the gray? How's the gray uh, crew neck doing? Please don't buy that. That was like, <laughs> yeah, why people keep promoting it too? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like that was just like we were on our podcast, and I was just like, yeah, I think you can put. We couldn't get a purple sweatshirt, so I was like, fuck it, let's just put a plain gray one. And My we thing called is, merch live on the pod, and they put it up there. We never really promote it, and it's just been living on the site. <laughs> and now it's like, please, like, please don't listen. Please don't I hear a f- counterpoint. Do buy it because I think a, a nice, just plain gray crew neck is cool and good to have. Yeah, but like, roster, and if you're gonna sp- spend, <laughs> you might as well support the homies. 
<laughs> you gonna buy one? Patrick yeah. from Fairfield just bought one and just popped up in the Hell Patrick yeah. from Fairfield. Those are very accurate. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you're like a subtle bar stool fan, um, <laughs> and the thing is, yeah. the store wouldn't allow you to put anything uh, on the website without a graphic on the front. So there's a very, very small one pixel black dot on that. Screen. Yeah. <laughs> All the bits. Yeah. So, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, it's in the upper right, I think, somewhere. I think you can <laughs> maybe see it. So if you see another guy in a plain gray sweatshirt, just yeah, whisper to him, anus dot. guy? Mm-hmm. Anus? Well, no. And down. <laughs> it's gonna, I think it's going to be smaller than that. Oh, is that it? Oh, is that it right there? I think I see it. Up, no, up right, maybe? You're going to convince yourself like 9,000 things. Right yeah, now. yeah, yeah. And we put a bunch of black dots on there. <laughs> There's one. That uh, yeah, that it. might be it. Uh, maybe that's that it. That one looks the most. Looks like it, yeah. All right, who you got, Steven? It's actually Brandon's jacket. My jacket. That's Big going boy. to Augustus M. What Augustus a great M. name. M. Southern Augustus. General. Okay, that works. Uh, Roman. <laughs> okay. Okay, all right. Congrats, Augustus. Definitely a slave think Augustus is a Southern name? Augustus, yeah, yeah, I see Augustus being a southern name. Hmm. Type of guy to get stuck in a chocolate. Augustus tube. in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's Augusta. Is that your joke? Yeah, Augusta. That's close. Good. Mm. I'm sick too. You're sick as a dog. <laughs> My fever's like 110 right now. <laughs> People love bragging about their fevers. Oh, they love oh it. yeah. It's the best thing to do when you're sick. Is yeah. That, is that how they're getting their jackets? They're telling you their size, and you're just assigning them based on uh, like two X or what? Correct, basically, yeah. Okay. Correct, basically. So if somebody wants Kyle, right. they'll have to Space. do Kyle size. I mean, they can ask for that size specifically, and we can try and match it up. But yeah, we're asking people their sizes, Pilar is, and then from from their orders, we can see what sizes they were and match it up. Trent has barely plugged his do rags in the store. <laughs> <laughs> Abe's gonna be on his ass. <laughs> oh. Shit. Well, what they got to eat? What is that? Oh, it's stickies. Mm. No, it's not. I, I got stickies that. out fast. Yeah, did you get it a lot? I got it a lot, like yeah. right when I moved to New York, and then I like it. It started repulsing me. My they judge you so me. hard for the sauces that you choose. Yeah, <laughs> I was getting the I was getting the grilled chicken instead of the chicken fingers, and the grilled chicken is what Brandon snappy. Yeah, what? I'm taking my credit card. Is snappy? What you doing? doing? I'm trying to do rag. I I shut my PayPal down because I got hacked on PlayStation. I got hacked on PayPal. I got hacked on several things. So I'm, just, squad. I'm shutting everything down. Your house has to be pure chaos. Right? Yeah. Oh my. God. Oh, I got to call PS2. Uh, PS. I, I got to call. PlayStation today and get that fixed. Wait, what's I gotta give PS2 a call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. What? Uh, I gotta give uh, PlayStation a call. And get that PlayStation, fixed. let me talk to two. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta give PlayStation a call? Yeah, Tommy was Why? livid. Did you, uh, I was hacked it? my PlayStation account and I can't get into it now. Is it Lizard yeah. Squad? Oh, shit. I don't know what that means. Lizard Squad, when PlayStation 3 came out and everyone was getting them for Christmas, like me and all my boy boys got PlayStation 3s or PlayStation 4s, and uh, and then this, like, hacking team lizard squad took down the whole network on Christmas Day. That's fucked up. And it was <laughs> chaos. Everyone was so mad. And I had to, like, explain to my parents. I was like, we can't play because lizard squad fucked us. <laughs> and they were, like, st stealing everyone's money and shit, too. Yeah. It was Damn. pretty crazy. That's impressive. How did they breach the mainframe like that? I don't know. I've always wanted to breach a mainframe. Yeah. yeah. It was a big breach, though. You're just typing on a keyboard and saying, I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, call PlayStation right now. How do you choose one as your payment method? Oh. Would That's you rather have a not. big mainframe that feels like a little yeah. breach or a little... <laughs> I would rather have a big one that like feels a, a little breach. breach. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a little leak. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Can, wait, can, is this a website where you can just type? It's called hack. It's like you just press random buttons and it makes it look like you're hacking. Yeah. Looks like he's hacking. I'm in. TJ, how old are you? I'll be 26 in January. Oh, really? Wow. Do you think I feel like, like we have like the same like high school like memories for some reason. Like, did you do? Was that a big thing in school when you were a kid? The hacking, hacker the typer squad thing. The hacker typer thing. Oh, I just know like every website. Oh it. yeah, maybe that's it. By the way, we have less than 50 Dion Sanders do rags left. If you guys want to <laughs> sell this out real quick. Yeah, let's uh, sell it out real quick. If you are buying yak merch, toss a do rag on there. Actually, somebody send us a screenshot of you using the payment plan for this. How much would that, that, that be a month? For? <laughs> a do rag on layaway. <laughs> Act fast. 
It's like an old, like, grumpy dude, like, sorting through his bills. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Missed a payment on the do-rag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> El Perez is coming down to my house to take it. <laughs> they're seizing the, they're seizing the do-rag. Rip it off my cold, <laughs> wavy hair. <laughs> Trent wears his all the time off camera. He does. Yeah. He's always wearing it. He looks damn good in it. Yeah, he does, actually. <laughs> he does. Brandon, why don't you call PlayStation right now? Aren't their ou- hours weird? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I will. Call them right now. Okay. <laughs> TJ, can you patch us through? I got to eat. <laughs> You can't. You're on Uber Eats right now. You're yeah. not. You're not trying to. Well, I'm trying to. You're I, on Uber Eats. I, I disconnected my PayPal, so now I don't have anything. I can't pay for anything with my Uber Eats, so I can't order anything for lunch. Did Tommy get conned on like PlayStation? How like, yeah, how did was a guy that his, his dad works at Sony. Hundred percent. He can get you a, a million. Yeah, GTA Six early access. Oh, he didn't have. The, he didn't know. Fortnite. How, what's so the Fortnite currency? He didn't know how to sign it in. V-Bucks. What is it? V Bucks. I get a lot of V Bucks and yeah, I bet you. Yeah, Bucks and Tommy might have gotten conned. Dude, I stumbled upon Ninja playing Fortnite still. He's still playing it. Yeah, he yeah. looked, it, it was depressing. He, he looks, seen his looks mas- miserable. He looks so miserable. Dude, he looks dude, furious. Playing that fucking game. Have you seen his master class? No. Mm-hmm. But Drew I also Drew Gooden has a really love, good video on it. I love Ninja. He's good. Yeah. He has a master class on becoming a streamer. And he's just like, 90% of it is about dyeing your hair blue. He's <laughs> like, you just got to do something crazy, like dye your hair blue. People will tune into me and be like, who's this guy with the blue hair? And like that was like his biggest advice ever is just to dye your hair blue. No, yeah. He How just, much money do you think he made that one year when it was like Fortnite was like the biggest thing in the world? When he so he signed he left Twitch for a little bit and signed with Mixer, mm-hmm. which was like Microsoft's shot at streaming. That company failed and they had to pay him out thirty million dollars of his contract. Oh my uh, god. Oh, I, and he was only there for like a month. It was a right? three year contract. They paid him out in like six months. So is he Dream. so he is he playing still so often for more money or is he just addicted to playing? Recently he like tried something completely new. He now streams on every website simultaneously. He Twitch, also just started Facebook, a burger YouTube, chain. Twitter that was Mr. Beast. I that was thought. Mr. Beast. Yeah. Oh, same. Potato, <laughs> potato. <laughs> yeah. Right, honestly, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Dobrik, Mr. Beast, and Ninjas. Same person. Same person. No, Vastly Ninjas way different. better than all those guys. Dobrik has a restaurant. Ninjas now. better. Ninja. Dobrik has a restaurant. Yeah, it's a yeah, pizza it's called place. Dobrik's Pizza. D O U G H. Oh, Dobrik's. Okay. That oh, needs yeah. something. We need a burger chain. What would our food be? People got to stop doing time. things. Just ch- chill, chill and be a regular person, and then you, you know who needs to stop doing shit? Shaq. Oh yeah. He needs to. Yeah. What were his career earnings? It's in just basketball. A- everything. He doesn't need to be doing the general. He doesn't need to be DJing. He do, like. He's got to be fucking sleepy as hell. Yeah, but do you think you get to a certain point where you're just like, I'm just gonna do something to like be have like a routine? I also believe he's doing what he wants to do. You think he wants to do all those commercials? Ma- uh, I don't know. He does the old. He's the old spice. I think, spice people, I think right? people get addicted. That to old that. spice. He's got Papa John's. I think he has good. Gold Bond too. Yeah, he's got it all. Who are we talking about? Jack. Yeah. He's, got, he's got to do less. He's also got Liberty. No, he's got the General. general. The General. Yeah. yeah. That's not even fun. That's insurance. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, a good show. That shoot has to be miserable. Dion has a lot of commercials. What, yeah. What is it? Icy Hot? Dion isn't a lot. Got an Affleck Subway. I think I just saw Dion on a on some Doritos. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. We're in the office, actually, I think. Khloe Kardashian had an ad I saw on my Instagram this morning for this. It's a headband you put around your head with a long string with a ball, and you punch the ball, and it pops up on the TV how many punches of the ball you got. And she's like, it just seemed like an embarrassing thing to do. And it, it was clearly, you know, she had to write ads. She's like, this is the most fun I've ever had in my entire life. And she's just standing in front of the TV trying to punch. And I, first I was like, that's lame. I would never do that. But for easy money, I absolutely, I would do anything. You probably paid her like $45 yes. million. Yeah. So that's it? Yeah, that's it. And it's like her on her Instagram. But she's it's like those punch balloons. What the balloons. fuck is that? It's that looks like something punch. you would do if you lived on a prairie in 1940. Yeah, it's like the same as like the the wheel and the, the hoop and the stuff. Oh, is that a new thing? <laughs> she's like, I can't imagine that looks a terrible. Christmas holiday without my ball puncher head. <laughs> I have never fuck? had more fun in my whole life. Well, she's like a big face of flat tummy tea, which is just sh- oh, she's yeah. saying that she's blowing up every bathroom that she's in. Yeah. yeah. It's like filling that with oozing brown poop <laughs> imagine <laughs> imagine like your parents walking in on you playing with that thing my dad would be pissed <laughs> i would just go over and just, <laughs> just cut it there she goes yeah there she goes what 
And like they were trying so hard to make it seem fun and awesome. Box balling. The best. It's so much fun. You which don't one is that on the bottom? Out. Which one is that on the bottom? <gasps> it's the same one. But which Kardashian? Is? Chloe. Exciting. Rich people's I houses seem so uncozy. Right? You know? And look at the replies. Ooh. Too damn fun. <laughs> I bet that is fun. fun. <laughs> really Steven, you, do you think that looks dope? Which one is that? If we you're like good at, her, get us one. good at it like that, and that we just could, doesn't like, look fun, even if you no. were good at it. Um, celebrities uh, advertising for like mobile games is hilarious. Too. Oh, yes. what's his name's doing that a lot? The guy from Malcolm in the Middle. The guy from Scrubs is doing it a lot. Yeah. Uh, John C. McGinley. John, John C. McGinley. McGinley. Dr. Look Cross. up. Look up his ad. It is the most gun to your head. <laughs> I think he's doing it for a mobile game, and it is. I don't think we can say what the brand is for this, but have you guys seen the? Uh, the ads that Antonio Brown is doing for that other gambling, yes, it's, it is it's bad. Like yeah, another company got there. Antonio Brown to do gambling. The ads <laughs> are horrendous. Why would they get him? He's like blackout drunk in them, and he's like he doesn't even know like what he's saying. It's Odell. It's bad. Odell was just sleepy. Uh, yeah, next jacket. Ooh. It, we got uh, our guy TJ. It's going to oh, TJ Ryan Pum M. Oh. Ryan, Ryan M. Woo Congrats. I thought TJ bought his own jacket. <laughs> jackets they're are good cool. jackets they're sweet yeah. it's the it. first piece of merch that they've ever i've ever like they were angry if you didn't give it back like they were yeah. waiting for them to uh to, to get them back i gave mine away at the stadium to the guy who's doing the flips at halftime the little oh. like tumbler t-shirt shooter guy was looking at the rack he's like these are awesome i didn't know they were no, i, I didn't a, know we weren't supposed to i was like take one i gave everything it says kate <laughs> yeah i gave a dozen jersey away once and i got detention oh yeah, yeah. 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 you get in trouble for that, that quick <laughs> <laughs> the the leader in the clubhouse right now is brandon g at 562 dollars he cats buying flights and hotel i think that that guy is like making money on this because that's mm -hmm. like flights and hotel to new york in new york city that's several hundred dollars if not that, four figs you're talking over a grand plus we don't sure. want brandon g here why not brandon g I, I, well, I would gladly take brandon g i don't know i was just trying to i like him a out. lot yeah, he seems like a great guy. His dick feels so big. It, just, yeah. it looks, it looks it tiny. Looks small. It looks tiny. Small, but it feels dick. so big. It feels just. <laughs> yeah. Is that a compliment you'd ever give a guy? <laughs> it looks tiny, but it feels so big. I'm not I would kind of fuck with that. I, was not I would fuck with that. I wouldn't. I would. I'd, Actually, yeah, because you'd show it and just be like, you just, just wait. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Packs a punch. <laughs> I'd still rather it look big. Yeah. But then that would be such a mind. Fuck Holy shit! You see a guy with like tiny. a hog, and then be like, "Am I crazy?" I would just I gaslight, just be like, "You must be right loose now. as fuck." Then. <laughs> <laughs> Your yeah. pussy looks wide open. <laughs> I mean, look it at is my dick. Snug as a really bug. Think you... That would ruin me, probably. That would, that would destroy. That me. was that was like ninety percent of high school sex discourse. It was like the girl would be like, "Oh, he has a tiny dick." The guy would be like, "Oh, she's a whore with a loose pussy." Yeah. yeah. I was like, "I'm never doing this." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds, it was so frightening. I was Good horrified. Call. Every, yeah, girls loved outing guys. Yeah, and vice yeah. versa. That is a terror. Like that I like believed scary. it. I just believed it. I was, I was like, like, yeah, dude, she's loose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. seventeen year old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, I heard she. Yeah, there was so many rumors. Of she had. She has the loose. <laughs> and I'm like six. I'm like. Yeah, she she had I'm weighing like the numbers, time. the risk reward. Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be so disappointed when I found out it was not her. <laughs> I was gonna fuck her too. <laughs> not now. Yeah. <laughs> hey you guys. It's Johnny C. McGinley. I'm sure by now that you've heard of the puzzle game Royal Match. Oh, and God. It's, game always it's always this ad. Yeah. Yeah. After having seen the ads, just like you, about a thousand times, I figured I'd give it a try. I'm sure glad I did. Oh, God. Honestly, I couldn't, yeah. couldn't stop thinking about it once I started playing. It doesn't look good. It looks like thing. it hurts <laughs> to move his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> there there are no a man skipped face day. <laughs> which is a, a must for me. Now it's my go-to game that I chill with at the end of the day. Oh. You know, on <laughs> That's so the couch sad. or on my favorite chair. Wait, who is this? That's uh, Dr. Cox. I say you give it a try. Yeah. It's oh. fantastic. All the best. Oh, oh God. Hey, you guys. Uh, yeah. You don't even show the game either? Nope. 
he faced like a bottle of scotch right up. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know what ads look? You know what ads I always get super into are those like super super poorly made like mob mob oh yeah you're a level one gangster and a level 20 boss yeah fuck yeah and like you'll like like a guy will go over and like pat your girl on the butt and you'll turn into like a level 70 crook (laughs) (laughs) and a pile of gold will appear john stamos is on one for a gambling site and he gets like a full house and then he like looks at the camera oh okay stamos that company spent fifteen hundred dollars on that video the john c mcginley one yeah why was it a cameo Almost definitely, and his business cameo is fifteen hundred. Yep. No. Ah. God, though he was regular cameo four. He's such a phenomenal actor, and he was amazing in Scrubs. Best part of Scrubs. I can't believe he hasn't. He was in Office Space. He was in. Uh, yeah. He was in Wall Street. He's in a lot of good shit. Is he in a lot of good shit? He's in uh, Platoon. Uh, hey, is he the boss from Office Space? No, he's the. the guy that comes so what in. do you say you do here? Yeah. He's oh like, yeah yeah yeah. He's a consultant. Yeah. I, Scrubs was such a huge show, and like I guess none of them Loved really had a ton of success show. outside of there. Uh, n- no, maybe the janitor with the middle. The two guys yeah, are in the show. the two main guys are in a commercial right now for a phone company. And I was wondering Mobile. if you watch that, do you just think that's a, a gay guy commercial? Because their characters are like uh, from Scrubs are are two best friends that are basically gay, but they're not. Right. And but if a lot of people just watch this commercial and think they're just. This is a gay commercial. Well, if, they, if, if they didn't yeah. see Love Actually, they will not understand that and think that. You have to see Scrubs and Love Actually. Right, to get it. Yeah, you have to be really invested in the culture to get this commercial. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Ansi McGinley, good actor. Fine actor. He was also in, uh, he signed uh, Freddie Prince Jr. at the end of Summer Catch. The scout for the Phillies. I'm glad I know that. Um, Speaking of summer catch, mm. I really like things that are fresh. Oh, nice. Like fresh summer caught. Cotton? Fish. Hot fish. Uh, quality is HelloFresh's priority. Ingredients travel from the farm to your home in less than seven days, so you know they're fresh. Busy days and late nights call for more flexibility. That's why HelloFresh has plans that work with your schedule. You can change your preferences, delivery day, and address in just a few clicks. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Yak70 and use code Yak70 for 70% off plus free shipping. That's 70% off with code Yak70 at HelloFresh.com slash Yak70. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got another jacket. Oh, we got another jacket. Uh, Dylan J. Dylan J. is getting Jake, Jake Marsh. Nice. Nice. There you go. Dylan J. Dylan J. There's also this large yak jersey. These are sweet. I actually felt sad to let this one go. I this is a good at the beach. I pretended I couldn't find mine so I could keep. Really? I, I, I gave mine away. I thought, I thought it would be a away. cool moment. moment. This guy 10 x me and I t- threw my jersey up and he didn't, <laughs> didn't give a fuck. <laughs> said, All right. What do you mean? I had an issue with a yak fan or a Barstool fan at the event. Um, I went to. To, to the bathroom me and my wife went to the bathroom and I said oh. Oh. <laughs> all right all right I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I gave the guy a bar stool hat and I said hey save my, save my seat so when we get back we can sit here and I got back and he didn't save my seat which was fine okay he didn't give me he gave my seat up but then he wouldn't give the hat back oh that's and I that's almost uh, big fuck you I wanted I wanted yeah. I wanted to fight him he was a big boy him? yeah but he wouldn't give me the hat back was he like he was a big fat pussy was he like joking around about it? At first he was, then he realized I wanted the hat back. I mean, you got to save. He didn't save my seat. You got to save the seat. He didn't save my seat. And you needed your seat to be saved because it was slammed. Well, I needed the seat where it was right behind the Mississippi State bench, and I wanted to be right behind the Mississippi State bench, and he gave my seats away right behind the Mississippi State bench. But like, Fuck couldn't you just be like, move? I ended up yeah. sitting two seats away, but I wanted those seats. Uh-huh. He didn't save those seats. And I gave him a free hat for the seats. I gave him a, a, a – I gave him – Basically, I you. traded him something. In front of your wife, no less. I would have dropped his ass. I would have yeah, dropped I his ass, dropped too. Yeah, I would have dropped him. Sure. Lucky it wasn't me with your wife. You're lucky it wasn't me with your wife, either. I would have fucking stomped his head in. <laughs> <laughs> middle, I would have drug him out in the middle of the court. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Made a mockery of him. Because <laughs> I don't fuck around. Yeah. But that's just me, I guess. I'd be like the most demeaning thing to do. Just like drag him out on the court, <laughs> kick his ass, and like sh- throw him up in the hoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. 
Well, uh. well, what? What are we gonna do? You gotta call PlayStation. Yeah, we do have to call. You still PlayStation. gotta do that. Yeah. yeah. And ask to speak to two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> say you. We should call it. Say your PlayStation Two got hacked. <laughs> What did you have to have for PlayStation to get online? A multi-tap? Is no, PlayStation 2, you just had a, uh, uh, you put the Ethernet cable right in. Uh, I think no. you had to have a multi-tap. PlayStation 2 did. online came out during, while well, it was already released, you had to send your PS2 away to get the network really? adapter installed on it. What about a next gen, like a second gen PS2? Didn't well, they the just Slim might have had it. I think already. they had the, but yeah. if you had a But if you had a fat PS2, you had to get it sent away. I remember when the Game Boy... Uh, they had like the multiplayer, but you had to have a wire and link cable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you remember that? Cause that was like when I was six. Yeah, no, I had a Game Boy, like a square one. Yeah, really? Yeah, red. But it was like I got it from someone, like one of my down's older siblings gave it to me. I remember playing Atari in my neighbor's basement. Like unironically, they just still had it hooked up and had all the games out, and we just really loved playing Atari. No, I had an NES, which was like I was probably too old, but that was my first game system. Yeah. Was Everything I had was Nintendo. from, uh, every toy I had was a hand-me-down from my older cousins. Mm-hmm. And, like, my aunt is, like, the heaviest cigarette smoker. And so, so everything had a bit of a tint to it. I thought stormtroopers were yellow, and so I saw the Phantom Menace. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, <laughs> we were talking, back growing up at my grandmom's house, like, everyone smoked inside. Yeah. Like, all my aunts and uncles would just Everybody, be sitting there constantly. after. I remember I accidentally flipped an ashtray over on myself once when I was playing in the living room. They're all like, die. Nah. You know, I was like, I... Yeah. I think that's why I don't like times. Italian food. I just assume it tastes like cigarettes. <laughs> like cigarettes. <laughs> what happened, Brandon? It's like manicotti's taste like parliaments. PlayStation <laughs> said uh, we're ex- experiencing extremely high call volume right now and can't provide voice support. Nice. Call back later. I think you need to ask Tommy if he got conned. He might have. It doesn't matter what happened to him now. Yeah. It just matters. You got to make sure it doesn't happen again. True. We're going to get him an Xbox. Well, I, I yeah. play with my boy Stinky Tony. I, I bought him a PlayStation 5 Friday. Oh, That's it got fine. hacked when? I haven't. He doesn't know I have the PS5 yet. It's up in a closet. No. But uh, he's not listening. He's, DM, he's gonna find out. Everyone's. Yeah. Gonna he doesn't call. listen to the show. Everybody's gonna, gonna tweet DM at him. him Although he does, DM Tom. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Tommy the other day it was it was home all day, and he came up to me and said, "Dad, I just watched Tommy Walker Day again, and I read the comments, and they love me." And I was da- like, damn Do not right read the show. comments, Tommy. Don't ever read the yeah. comments. And and he was like, "Why? They were good." I said, "Well, okay. Well, that's actually good. Good yeah. point." Yeah. They're good. Go ahead and read them, I guess. But he uh, he he loves going back and watching Tommy Walker Day. How could you I not? Like that. How I could enjoy, you not? I enjoy yeah, hearing that. that. Yeah, that's awesome. How old is he now? He's twelve now. So now he's uh, we talk. Uh, I talk about him like he's a kid, but he's he's you know twelve. A man. Yeah, he's he's basically a man. He's a Mississippi <laughs> man. His mullet is long. Yeah, I'm getting worried about it. Why? I should step <laughs> in. Now. Are you worried about? I'm getting worried about. I, I should so step in and say off. you need to get a haircut. No. No. Nah. We're just gonna let it grow. Yes, yeah. we're all parenting the guy right now. We're just gonna let it grow. Why not? What's How long the we gonna let it go? As long as he wants. <sighs> what if he has to get a job? Yes, at like thirteen. Yeah, I had my first job at hair fourteen, hair. and I have never not had a job since. I my first job was sixteen. Yeah. Well, I fifteen if you count umpiring. I would always find ways to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Like what? You would sell gum. You selling gum in high school? Um, I, well, I would get. You're one of those entrepreneur. Dip yeah. Uh. I would watch Donovan Strain buttery ass Mondays. He would do like little hustle tactics on YouTube, and I wanted to be him. So I'd buy a bunch of like juice from the dollar store. Yeah. But there was no hustle to it. I would just sell it for like. I didn't care about the more. money. I just wanted the attention. The yeah. Positive sell it for a one for one swap. Yeah. So like I started out with the. I had unlimited Starbursts from my uncle. Yeah, that's what it Wrigley. was. Wrigley Starburst Skittles, uh, Sour Patch Kids. And but a trunk full. Then I just I felt felt so much more joy just giving it away. For and free because yeah. I didn't like when you're in high school. I didn't really need. So your uncle was a Starburst money plug. Like that, just mm-hmm. gas money. Your uncle was a Starburst plug. Mm-hmm. Huh. Hey, you were selling it in high school. I assumed this was like elementary school. No. <laughs> why didn't people just why didn't they just go to the store and buy candy? <laughs> when you're in when you're stuck you're in, in school? school for seven hours, oh, no, dude, oh, we, oh, yeah, you would that was like the hottest commodity. Yeah. Everybody was selling everything. Yep. We had a school store and like the the fruit snacks were gold. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But and, then they stopped but selling then them. Ima- like the Starburst and Skittles, that's that's a next an upper tier. Right. But you could get to that upper tier without going through you if you befriended a 
a teacher in the basement, like a shop or a welding yes. teacher. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The yeah. big Texas cinnamon rolls. They would tell you, they would tell you big yeah. Texas. There was a big Texas cinnamon roll speakeasy in our in the basement of our. I sh- I remember being torturously hungry in school. Oh, yeah. eating up to so lunch. Hungry. I didn't know it was possible. To get My puberty stomach would be sucked. growling yeah. so loud. I was tired all the time and just a bottomless pit of hunger. Like the remember, first two people. Oh, Kent N. Holy shit! Eight seventy nine. <laughs> but okay, he, he bought thirty yak spinners. <laughs> oh, shut up! That, oh, he's that might be fl- dangerous. Yes, he's, he's flipping them. What is he building? <laughs> he's sell- he's in high school and he's gonna sell gonna these out. Flip them, yeah. The- oh. When I was in high school, they uh, we had like cookies. They would sell cookies at lunch, but they would make the special needs kids make the cookies. We Do that had, for you guys we too. Had that oh too. no, they my make- home room would so be every- like a. Every kid had a different home room, and my home room was in the special needs room, um, and there was it was called the donut room. And our special needs kids, there was a donut conveyor belt, and every morning they'd make donuts for the school. Real Hell big donuts. Yeah. yeah. You had just donuts in the school? Yeah, it was a donut conveyor belt in my home room. It was right That's next awesome. to the daycare in my high school. Does it smell great in I there? I love that. Whoa, Brian. Jesus, Jesus Brian. Holy, Holy shit. shit. What do we got? We got? Damn. Seven eighty nine. Does he not have a last name? What'd he buy? That's the original Brian. Oh, TJ, you should tell us what. Damn! Damn. Oh. oh, Jesus Christ. Something must have happened. Sam L. No. Nope. This is my guy Sam. He actually bets uh, with Trust the Data a lot. So, no so way. So, Che, lay out what, the, that what they get. They get to a free flight to New York City, a free, free hotel. Free flight, hotel. Yep. Be part of the act. Watch it in the booth. You'll get to obviously talk and interact on the act. So, this guy's awesome. On top yeah. of that, they all spend a thousand, so they either get to go to a pizza review, an oh, internship, yeah. an R&R, Army, Navy, or the Arizona Bowl. And do they get all of the below perks? I don't know. Huh. Those sewed well in high school, too. And perks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God, yeah. Oh, my perks God. Perks was a huge <laughs> deal. That was... People never did perks. I was so ignorant to school. like the opioid epidemic. Yeah. I- just didn't know what it was. It was so normalized that I was yeah, just like, yeah, that, you that's talk about doing pills all beam. the time. Yeah, yeah, I was just like, oh, that's funny. Yeah. Like the shit, like I remember getting Vicodin for, um, for like, like dental surgery and it, I thought it would be cool to like, who wants something? And like yeah. people, <laughs> the fiends, <laughs> like, I was like, oh, you really want this. Yeah. There, just have it. I thought I was just like, I thought, when I got my wisdom teeth taken out, it made me like more handsome because everybody was coming up to me like, "Hey, man, like, yeah, yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on?" Yeah. That was like a, a wake up call. Yeah, people really want this. Yeah, In dude. college, I broke ribs and my back, and like I broke, I was always breaking shit, and immediately all the rugby guys would come out of the woodwork and be like, "Hey, how you doing?" What? Are I? And I and I was like, "It must be me." Yeah, I remember thinking man. of me, and then then they'd be like, "By the way, you got any Vikes?" Like, ah. Dude, Fair I enough. Know, like, dude, they were like freshmen, and they were just like nodding off, and they were just everybody was like, "Dude, he's off a fucking bean yeah. right now." <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh no, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not, yeah. it was so normal. Yeah, so normal. That's what was like. That was like at my school, but it was just Xanax instead. Yeah, and like kids would be like walking to their cars to drive home, like falling over. Yeah, dude, I used to pretend I would like squint my eyes and just like <laughs> uh, I wanted to, I wanted to be a stoner so bad. Yeah. I did too, and I hated weed. Oh, I hated yeah. it. I would try hated to. I would it. smoke and just freak out. Yep. And then be with my friends, be like, "Dude, I am so fucking stoned right now." <laughs> so I remember it was like eleventh grade homecoming or something. We all went to somebody's house, and I didn't smoke a ton, uh, but normally it was like with my close group of friends, and it was a party with like some of the more popular kids. And I smoked, and whatever it was, I couldn't stop laughing, like hysterical laughing, like over the top, like someone's losing their mind laughing. I. I couldn't stop. I don't know. I was probably laced with something. And I just remember looking around. No. And, 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 <laughs> nah, it never yeah. is. <laughs> it was weird. But I remember everyone, like, you know when your view's kind of foggy looking around and everyone just being like, and it was like a nightmare that I couldn't get out of, that I couldn't stop laughing. That, that's the only time that smoking weed is fun when that happens, in my opinion. It would have been fun if everyone else was like, yeah, on yeah, the yeah. same page as me, but nobody was, and it was yeah. just me. And it's like, what the fuck? I like couldn't look people in the eyes at school the next week. Last time I smoked yeah. weed was like probably a year ago, and it was uh, I smoked a joint by myself in my in uh, in our apartment, and I I was gonna my plan was to smoke a joint and then go for a walk outside. And I went outside to the living room, and Owen had like twenty people over, and they were all like sitting down watching something. Mm. And I just stood there, and I was like, "Going to the store." <laughs> <laughs> and then I just disappeared for like four hours. I remember Owen telling really? it from his perspective. Yeah, he was like, "Dude, like we were all like super confused." 
<laughs> yeah. First time I ever smoked weed, I was at the uh, my or my uh, the, my friend Vincent Gu. He was a he's a seven he's foot Asian super guy. tall. Age, yep. Uh, he it was hilarious though. He played the cross and he was the biggest guy, but he had like a two letter last name, so it was like th- this big on his <laughs> his jersey. Uh, but his drug dealer was a, a was Harry Krishna. Hey boys. And uh, oh. I smoked weed at the, the Palace of Gold with the Krishnas. That was nice. the first time I spot. Boys, 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 come in. Hey, What's fellas. Up? Hello, hello. How you doing? Well, that was nice. Fellas. That's a hearty hug. That is a hearty hug. <laughs> fellas. What's up, Willie? Hey. There we go. Good to see you. Good to see you. These guys are Very trouble. Hello, you. sir. Taylor, what's up? Uh, Will, when was the last time you were on the Yak? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. In. Yeah. yeah. What's up, boys? What was the last time you were on Have the Yak? Take a sit down. Have yeah, a it's seat. live. Come on in. Welcome, boys. Yeah. So, Taylor, have you seen his, his dick in person? I have. And is it... Uh, the, no, the, honestly, Will's penis is it's very handsome. Like, okay. Not handsome, a lot of, yeah. It's like uh, You've seen me in a couple. It's like a small like you go to a small town and there's like a lot of beautiful things to see, but like not a huge population, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. So So there's I, charm. Yeah, like a clock yes. tower. <laughs> yeah. Situations. Yeah, there the, uh, one time in Michigan? Michigan. Yeah. We were peeing at the urinal. Yeah, and You're I like, peeked over. <laughs> peeked over and I saw I go, "Hey, good for you." Yeah. <laughs> he took a photo. Yeah, I did. It's on it's my screensaver. Would you rather your dick look big and and feel small when it's in use or Look small and feel real big when you feel you're small there. for who? The partner. Look, look big and feel small. Yeah, Lady. for sure. That's the only right answer. When you pose that hypothetical, you're talking about it feel like it feels feel like big, big to the to the, the receiver. To, to I the thought receiver. you were talking about just to you. No, no, no. Because yeah. mm. sometimes it. Yeah. Oh no, I get it. Sometimes yeah. it feels like top heavy. Yeah. yeah. If you feel small, I mean, that's that seems like a personal problem. Like, yeah, I definitely. Look, if you look good in the mirror, it you're feels like, good on you, and you're walking around, and you start like complimenting strangers. <laughs> Become a better. You're having a good yeah, dick day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I doing small. Th- I started like initiating small talk. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so small talk when you have a big dick day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've never felt that, but I, 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 I think I do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. I think I have big balls. I think that's why. I think I got a big old set of balls on me. That's right. You have a huge sack. I think I have a huge sack. Yeah. <sighs> I pee on my balls constantly. <laughs> what? I brought that up, Sorry, people. Dick. No. Dude, mine are small, but are that hang small. super low. Mine are hanging. That's why. Okay. And I'm always pissing on my balls. <laughs> and I brought this up to people, and everyone was like, I've never done that. And I was like, that happens to me like three times a day. Taylor's got this buddy that has such a massive ball sack yeah, he, Tanner he brought me to oh, the side he not took here. me aside two yeah, boys I'm sorry we you already got you guys beat you're out you're about not one upped uh, no bro uh, no maybe oh, maybe you're not, you're, the same yo, he, he, he stretched no. it out of his shorts like it was a bat wing dude. I haven't no. met my boy sweet potato dude, this Pat. thing is this big this, sweet this potato big pie. Right, 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 one ball before he uh, continues give it a size comparison to yeah. another object yeah, the, what he was just showing oh. right there. I mean, dude, I'm telling I'm you, just looking around. Maybe that, that it's like that. he's oh, flipping that. a pizza, dude. I promise. Can we pull I up promise. the reactions to Sweet Potato Pat. We have him come in every once in a while and just show his nut. Nick, it's you have a picture nut. of it, right? Yeah, but the picture you need to see it. It's like you seeing the Great Wall of China. Comparison, yeah. Mm-hmm. I would like, like oh, okay, I'm sure it's big. It, like yeah. jaw dropping. Like we were like, what? Really? It's Should like we get Tanner on the on Facetime right now? But hey, show us. You want me to call him? Show us. You nut on Facetime? Are we doing a nut off? Steven, drop a name real quick. So uh, my boy is a chemist, and I think he, how he got it is I think he fell Who in love. Who is a chemist? I, I didn't know that was a girl, actual profession. Real Potato God. Pat. He's a chemist? Yeah. Is, does he do with, like, Bunsen burners? And- I think Bunsen burners and test tubes, dude. But I think that's how his nut got so big. I think he oh. fell into a vat, mm-hmm. as you would. <laughs> or a cauldron. God, it's good yeah. to see you guys. <laughs> it's, it's glad you guys are here. Gosh. Oh my I thought God. I was going to miss oh, yeah, here, it. My boy coming in, in showing his nut. I saw it. Wait, KB, move your... KB, move. KB, you got to move. KB... <laughs> oh. So we have we just have people react to his nut. Is he here? Is he in the building? Oh, no, he doesn't work here. Oh my god. Can we see the yeah, photo? Just, okay. <laughs> nah, he just goes around. It's like a Craigslist ad. Yeah, dude. He goes I, around I and shows him, you his nut and I leaves. Got, I found him on Facebook Marketplace. That is incredible. <laughs> um I don't I hate to take the show here, but I'd like to hear more about this case race and kind of how everything went. I saw the videos, but Will last It's a time, big pivot. Last time you were here. You were on, on the case race, and I see you guys hug, and it seems like it went really well. <laughs> well, Nick Nick was my, we were Yeah, dude. Yeah. I, I usually have about two beers. I, would, I don't know if there's a name for what you call that, um, and I get drunk off of that. Mm. Uh, Will was reverted. I was back in high school, man, and he was just yeah. in my face. Drink pussy, drink <laughs> pussy. 
Don't you, motivated. fucking. You. Good for you. Yeah. I had 11 in like 40 minutes. Honestly, Nick, we won that case race. Yeah, we did. Like Shane, we were up one and had one to go. Yeah. And Shane just down two, which was against mm-hmm. the rules. But at that point, like. Cut the riffing. Jay had already been ready to swing on Shane. Like yeah. everybody was. Yeah. N- That's true. KB had a bad vibe kind of coming into the race race. <laughs> so Kyle doesn't like You were going beer. through some apartment issues, though. He was homeless, and you don't like I beer, so you a had bottle. a bottle of Pink yeah. Whitney beforehand. So, yeah, I was like, I'm not – because the first time I was just sober because I can't really drink beer. So, two total heavy stomachs. So, I pre-gamed it with, like, a, a, like a whole bottle. Wow. Just came in with that anger. But Pink Whitney. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. What about, why can't you chug to slam two beers? You have to uh, – what do they call it? What's the you have, There's a riff rule. Riff, you have to riff. So, you have to maintain conversation while drinking. You can't, can't, you can't converse and, while you chugging. You can't just sit there and uh, chug one. Well, how many did you drink? I mean, I was up there. You're Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because we had one left. Yeah. So you kept up with him. Yeah, we were. No, I think you, I mean, we were. You were on the thirteenth. You yeah. were. You were. I was never going to get to the spot where, you know, if I was putting one down, I'm looking over at my boy. Yeah. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. I know you're. Up. I know you're loving the conversation. Focus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too much you know riffing. I mean? Like Roan, because Roan had what four? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Maybe four. Maybe. Spilling everywhere. And then I ran out to puke so much, and I had that alien face paint. And, you know, you get the cold sweats. <laughs> and so, like, it all just blended together. Have you ever been blackout drunk and puked and then look at yourself and you're black? <laughs> <laughs> what an experience that is. No, but I was I, like, did I get that fucked up? I <laughs> got I'm black. <laughs> I do remember I lost my vape, and then I went to the bodega, and I came back, and I realized I was still in full face paint. <laughs> <laughs> so you went to the bodegas as the Joker <laughs> with green hair. <laughs> you guys were out late, like a random like Wednesday night. Yeah, you guys were out till like four a.m. I yeah. came out of my blackout and I was in my bed, and the show was still going on. <laughs> <laughs> that was tough. Because I, I remember when I went out to get my vape, you went out with me, and then you left. I must have. And yeah. I was trying to like I, we had been on the phone for a second. And then I, I literally like wake up at like five thirty in the morning, full face paint, fully clothed, laying on my bed, and I have like missed calls from Sasquatch and Shane. I'm like, damn, I missed a good time. <laughs> no, you definitely. I don't think you missed a good time at all. But Those like, are the situations where it's like, you have to intentionally just go to bed. Yeah. Yeah. You're just, you're forcing it. You're forcing it at that point. Yeah. The repercussions of that though, like that was probably one of our most viewed shows. I went on a family vacation with my mom, my dad, and my sister. We went to P Town, which is a very gay area of the Cape. And we were walking around. These two dudes walked past holding hands on the beach. And one was like, yo, Nick, that case race. <laughs> I was like, God. Dude, dude, dude. Yeah. <laughs> In front of my family. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, remember yeah. that night before or the day it came out, I was going to, I was walking to the stand. And like people were stopping me being like, yo, I haven't watched yet, but I'm so pumped. Oh, bro, people were like, so pumped. No, people I was like, we like, were coming out of watch. the woodwork. Well, did you have, because I was in the group chat, I wasn't part of it, but you guys had like the scaries before it came out. They had like so much anxiety. Were you also really like, yeah, I had fucked? the scaries for sure. Yeah. Whenever I saw that my pants were down and everything else, <laughs> and then I literally wake up and I have a text message from JJ Reddick talking about how small my piece is. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? No how way. do you know what? about that? He's like, oh, I got, I got sources on the inside. <laughs> I didn't think it looked small. And, uh, and apparently, and, and that was from Big Cat. He heard it from Big Cat. So Big Cat was a little loose lip during the whole thing. <laughs> I think it's because your ass looks so big. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't even want to see, dude. Oh, I can't even. Oh, look at him. oh I can't watch. With the knee sleeve. <laughs> With the knee. I think I was look trying to show people my. <laughs> it doesn't, it, it looks aerodynamic for sure. Mm-hmm. The, I felt it's, ad, it's an agile cock. And then I kept trying to like walk this out. Was the you worst see day the in videos, my life. and I had the scaries. <laughs> This is like, wait a minute. How many views does this have? Oh, like 500,000? Half no. a mil. Half a mil. And then just play. Oh, there's. <laughs> what's going on? Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and play. Like, this shit's like two hours long. Like, how do you watch it's this? Four hours long. This was an hour and 30. Minutes. I attempted to fast forward yeah. to some parts and I just couldn't. And I was like, man, I don't even. Yeah, I was so riveted. Cool. It, it was sucks. like watching a social experiment. Hey, let's go. It sucks too because, like, people like. Planned like they people like get together with their friends to like drink along with it. Like do a case. Yeah, people told me that. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then they're like, "What the fuck is this? <laughs> we gotta redeem ourselves." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I think we have to. <laughs> I'm taking it easy though. Yeah, that's what you said last time. No, no, no. I, last time I was like, "I'm gonna drink 30 beers." This Dude. time I'm going in like. Shane came in five. with the presence that I feel like it put everybody. I mean, I took an Addy with you. I took half an Addy with that's you. That's right. Like, okay, is this gonna help? Like, okay, let's. <laughs> Dude, yeah, we, we, were, we, were, we acted like, like it was the fucking, as we acted like it was the ACTs. Yeah. <laughs> we were up all night prepping. 
Dude, we're, we're talking f- about our strategy and like I got a change. tutor. Just like you know, he's got that mystique about him. Like, oh, this is the dude who yeah. drinks beer. So he's yeah. the funniest guy in the room and the best drinker, and it just made us all pissed. It yeah. sucked, dude. Yeah, that was brutal. Cause he's tough to keep up with. Like he'll 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 shit on you and joke on you, and you're like, fuck, I feel stupid right now. <laughs> yeah. He you want to get one in, huh? You can really drink like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. It, you guys were about to win, and he put down, like, five. Yeah. Yeah. They were, like, one away, and he put down, like, hey, five. Like a robot. Like, Don't worry about our own. And then he just hammered to it. <laughs> That's cheating. Yeah. yeah he che- but at that point, we're all so, like, it, it was over. We were yeah, all, I'm glad everyone was. Yeah. The riffing rule really only ever applied to Dana, because he <laughs> he was just sitting in silence. Didn't say a word. He drank 18 word. beers by himself. Yeah. Because he was on a team alone. Taylor, how would you do? Uh, you know, pro- that's a good question. Case race, twelve beers each person. Yeah. What was the time? He, what was the best time? Ah. I think it was like fifty-six minutes. Yeah. But again, I don't know if I could do fifty-six. This is, this is riffing. Like, there's, there's like, there's very. I don't know. Much. Even without riffing, I don't think I can do fifty-six minutes. Like, remember, I came back and I was like, oh, it's not like a straight-up competition case race. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like a, it's like a social event. I guess there's only one way to find out, to be honest yeah. with you. I don't I know. I think you have to partake. I think uh, yeah. I had a, a massive amount of FOMO when I was watching that video. It seemed like you guys had an incredible time. Nope. No. No. No, no, no. It's tough with the scaries, though, because I've been in that position where all the lights are off, and then and like that next morning, you're like writing freehand poetry, just wondering what you've done with your life. Like, it's <laughs> yeah. a tough... People forget it was my feeling. 30th birthday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was dealing with my mortality as yeah. the show was going on. <laughs> I had a cake yeah. in front of me just getting berated. <laughs> and Shane, oh, Shane was texting every day, just had the scariest for probably a week or two. Yeah, uh, and that made, made me feel better. <laughs> yeah. I, I, when I went to the stand that night, he was at the stand too, and some guy came up to us. He was like, yo, he's like, you see Shane's over there? He's like, did you guys squash the beef? <laughs> I was like, dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> it was, mis- I mean, just like, probably, I still get DMs. Being like you ruined the case race. Yeah, people people will come up and be like, "Dude, that was awesome on the case race." Like, <sighs> that's crazy. How case could, race was awesome because well, you were good. You were you were you came out the best by far. I know. Uh, uh, waste up, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. People people liked your vibes. <laughs> waste up, man. Waste you, up. You, you we were, were really great. Good. Dudes coming up to me in the airport, washing their hands next to me, like, "Hey, solid. That case race was awesome." That's another rant. Thanks, man. The airport, like bathroom, like the bathrooms. <laughs> The uh, this is like a Seinfeld joke. <laughs> no, the that's a thing about airport bathrooms. I was just like, the, 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 any bathrooms in America, the, the stalls, twenty percent of the time they work, they close. <laughs> there's a, there's a, you can see under it, yeah, and through the crack, yeah. On uh, this, what about the, the sinks where you have to press with one hand to keep it going? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then you only can do one hand. Yeah, especially when you're up in the air, like on the plane, you have yeah. to press for the water. I'm yeah. talking about just public bathrooms. They suck. What the, pre- pers- the pressing sink thing is a tough deal because whoever set the timer, whoever was the guy, was like, "Hey, six yeah. seconds is the move. You need a good fifteen yeah. to seconds to get those hands really lathered even up." Even if good. it works, which it, that's true. Yeah. Do you ever try and like try and make content with the people through, or try and make eye content, contact, eye contact, contact with the people through the crack? No, no. Is the oh. one on the toilet or the one outside? Never tried. I think that. that's a good question. Yeah. I more so feel safer when I'm on the toilet. And I'm like, who's trying to peep? Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. I, I only stare through the cracks. So just if they catch me, it's just, <laughs> dude, I, but that is ridiculous that you can see them through the crack. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is, <laughs> dude. I I had such a bad shit, and I was coming home from Austin, and I had the worst diarrhea of my life, and I, it was so bad that I went to the bathroom, and I was like, I know this is gonna be outrageously loud that I had to like put my headphones in and put on a noise cancel and just pa- <laughs> oh, no. and just like just be like I don't know if anyone's in here there's probably people in here but I just got to go for it cuz usually I try and like wait it out until there's no one in there and then release but this was like there was no time so if you get a here's a tip for you so if you get a loud and- enough the boy so if you get a loud enough toilet hey 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 I sound like shit Taylor you don't get embarrassed by Georgia like you did last year. I listen. Everything is depending we on it. I know. Okay, all right, we'll yeah. have the, no, we will the college football yeah. show. I'll talk to you after, but don't, don't. If you want us on the college football show to talk don't. about, I'm more than willing don't. to bear the cross. The of shirts Michigan. that said like you know blocking crew coming through. Remember that? Yeah. Listen, this Not is on the, Big Ten. the University of Michigan is representing the entire Big Ten. They are going to win the national championship. How about how about how about this guy thinking he hit a home run with Matt Rule and Luke Fickle right on his fucking face, dude? The Fickle and thing. No one did even hurt knows Matt Rule. 
Even Matt Rule's the best hire. Give Matt Rule three to four years, he's going to have Nebraska in tip top shape. But I do you believe. You have to Photoshop yourself looking skinnier as your press release. You've already lost. Uh oh. That's a that's a shot that's not even meant for me. Like, I own it. Coach Rule could be taken. I own it. I own it. I own it. You've really really dove into that bit. It's not a bit. Oh, okay. How long have you been doing that? About three weeks. Look okay, good, so right? Just, yeah. Feels in you the look flavor. great. Yeah, right. Exactly. Oh so you God, think that you think that uh, photo was photoshopped? Yes. Wait, what is profile picture on Twitter? Yeah. Pull up the Matt Rule photo. It's a crazy accusation on my guy. It guys. does look like a bad Photoshop deal. I think I know the one is his profile picture on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, no, the one that announced his hire. Also, is he your guy or Scott Frost your guy? Uh, Matt Rule. Okay. Scott Frost, left- Scott Frost is like, you know, he's just like one of my guys. Like, he's not the coach anymore, so he's just like my boy. You wanted Luke Fickle. You no, 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 no. Yeah. We're, we're rolling Matt Rule, brother. We made the right hire. You think he, you think that's Photoshop? Yes. Yeah. He's so – come on. I mean, he looks great. He's been working out. You can tell. Yeah. He yeah, spits that's... on himself. Show the video of him spitting on himself. He hasn't spit on themselves. But he did it on TV, which sucked. I uh, we'll, we'll talk. We'll, I, okay. love I love the hire. I love the hire. College football show. I'm excited for you guys to see the Great Big see Ten. The Big Ten West is coming back. Yes, big time. I don't right, right in time for them to not have divisions anymore. Correct. Yeah, I hope that does end. But what I was saying, uh, Sass, was if you happen to find a toilet that's loud enough, the trick <laughs> is right back into yeah. it. The trick is. Right when you're about to explode, you flush, and right as it starts flushing, you start exploding because you're not going to. That, gonna is, that is this was <laughs> That's no wasn't. trick. I have the shoulder mobility for that. We this was in. Also, the airport has the auto. Everyone has tried that. That's the it only works. move you can try. Yeah, but he says he tries to wait on them all to leave. Like if um, you're about to burst, yeah. he, th- we well, might that's be because the game. flush isn't Jesus gonna. It's not gonna. Shatter. He's young. How old are you, Sass? That's what, dude. This was loud to the point that like gunshots wouldn't. Have well, no, you just up. need to spread your cheeks enough to where it makes yeah. no sound. And it, I don't oh, use. That. I don't use the toilet rim. I use the piss rim when I shit. <laughs> so it spreads me out <laughs> way further. <laughs> No, dude, because when you fart into a into That's a the thing, toilet, so it's an explosion. You yeah, but you can harmonize a fart. You, you can. can. You can no, squeeze you can, a little like, bit out and let it start doing the... Yes. No, no, this was... You can do that. That sounded just like it. Right? It does. It, it, it sounds like it. It feels like it. If he has diarrhea, that's explosion. It was like... I can't even do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. sputter? Like an old jalopy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. The dumbest what, fucking those diarrhea is like you got to get up. That's after what you it sounds wiping, like. You got to uh, you got to lift the toilet seat and clean the bottom of it. No. Whoa. What the, what the hell f- are you talking about? What, what? at home? You're, you're the biggest. You guys never home. murdered a toilet like you're that. You're cleaning the public? toilet seat. You're, you're, you're cleaning a public bathroom. Toilet? No, 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 no. Uh, you know that's talking like that's, a, that's a symptom of diarrhea, right? Like you guys know. No, you know. I don't get recoil. I'm not like the water's for underneath the rim. You must have in the hole where everything settles, and then you get like spackle. Around like a Jackson Pollock painting. I'm the bottom of the. Go to the I'm hospital. not saying I clean the airport. Uh, I'm not saying I clean public bathrooms. What I'm saying is this: when you have diarrhea, it's such an explosion that it goes sideways, and y- you would be able to see your shit if you lifted up the room. You must yeah. have a. You have a high asshole. Yeah. No, no, he doesn't. A, I clean our toilet. <laughs> have you seen? What? <laughs> he doesn't have a high asshole. <laughs> he's on diarrhea. He's on OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe you, but yeah. oh, you have a powerful asshole. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it does some damage. <laughs> Ninety percent of my shits uh, are emergencies. I I hold till the last. You minute. don't you don't have like a, a like eight o'clock every Wait, day. Tell them your high school that you never. I never went to a high school bathroom. I held it. Never I never went into no, a high school. My, bathroom. my mom and dad worked, so one time I I went home when I had to shit. I played sick, and I had to call my beautician Lisa to come pick me up. <laughs> really? Yeah, I could give her a call. She oh, was, I was my rider. I was die. the exact opposite. I would do. I would honestly go in the bathroom in high school and yeah, I, oh, you were take myself man. out. I would really absolutely. Yeah. Horny, horny, fifteen-year-old Taylor. Like, oh, wait, 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 wait! You're talking about tugging down the. Back. Oh yeah, tugging you tugged in high back. school. High school? Are you serious? There's no quite. I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not even shying away from that. Absolutely. You, I know you were the worst kid I, to I, see in the bathroom. Oh, I, yeah. Yeah. I don't think people oh, yeah. knew. I really don't think people knew. I was a quiet. There was not a lot of noises going on. I, I, was, had, I, I was there for that. business. Being this behind is, you at the water fountain would suck, too. I know uh, you. Yeah, that one-two skip a three did yeah. not play with me, dude. Yeah. I did not do that. How are you, how are you tugging yeah. in the school bathroom? Like, dry? Yeah, what are we doing here? Buddy, I didn't about? even really learn that, like, lotion was a thing. Buddy, we <laughs> talk about this all the time on our podcast. Okay. When so, I, was I mean, like, Che, this is your topic. topic. When I was, like, nine or ten years old, and I'll bring this back to the bathroom part, but when I was, like, nine or ten years old, like, you start getting horny, and you start like getting boners. They're not oh, much. Oh, I was I was probably twelve. Okay, well, yeah, we'll just I say twelve. Then. Mm-hmm. Fourth grade, ten. Yeah. Oh wow. Fourth grade. 
Well, that's because you guys are like athletes. Yeah, right. Oh, Testosterone yeah. just yeah. pounding through your body. Like, I still haven't fully hit puberty yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's not really. So like nine, ten years old, whatever it was, I literally would take shoe boxes. You know, like old shoe boxes, you put your fingers in the holes. Oh, dude. That lift is... it up. And I would try to fuck the, sh- the shoe box. Really? Yes. I, I, and I literally would do it for a couple. I'm like, this is sex? Like, this is really. Because you don't really know. Really, there is no situation where that's the best option. No, it would be. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's yeah. always the seventh dude, dude, best Taylor, option. Taylor, how are you? I don't remember being like a horny kid. I remember being. What it would be? I, uh, I would go so many I would items couch. before a I would, shoe box. I would fuck the crevice. No, no, no. It was, uh, you know, when you went to like. What? Leather? <laughs> I no, suede. I would fuck the ca- the crevice. No, hey, listen, you're not alone in that. In between yeah. the in between the you're cushions. I remember being on the bus going you're home, and two are you kids serious? were talking oh, about being dead serious, like jerking same, off and like same. making themselves come. I used to Google, can you make yourself come? Can yeah. you do that? So there was a website called Jerkin World that gave you jerk off tactics. No way. Remember, uh, you guys don't remember jerk? No. Oh, Titsandhaskalore.com. Um, <laughs> <was my guy. laughs> yeah, Beaver.com was you, mine, dude. Beaver.com. <laughs> yeah. You guys needed tactics. It was so primitive for me. I. <laughs> I just knew what I agree. I, yeah. I'm I'm like, but like how a, do you look at a shoebox and not try and soften the blow at them hard edges? But the thing is like there's way it was not big enough it would wouldn't even touch the sides. I bet you so in, a, just humping in an arms like well, I thought that was sex. Like, oh, I'm just fucking way this. better things to um That's those things from Chuck E. Cheese you could win that you could oh, like, the water oh, tubes that you couldn't about. hold on to, they were slippery. Yeah, that was good. Oh, cool. A oh crown royal God. bag was amazing. Move that thing in the microwave for 10 15 seconds. I would I would fuck one of those things today. Or sure. OG for sure. That might feel better than puss. Yeah. The crown royal bag was my favorite. I would definitely one of those Purple, you know the. the, the <laughs> oh my god! Wait, what? What? Like you what do you do with string it? I, 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 yeah, the, uh, you know what I'm talking You'd, about. You would no. tighten the string around your. your no, di- and tight this like your dick's a political prisoner. The, the, dude. the feeling of that material. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I used to, so you, just rub, you just rub you it on velvet. After, you, you ever hit the, oh, uh, yeah, velvet, the velvet? It's velvet. I don't know. No, it's like walking <laughs> on marble. You, you don't know what velvet is. You're not thinking. Yeah, but you know, when I discovered velvet, you it, ever hit it the was campfire? It was a wrap. It's, hit the campfire. Oh, like you go like this? Yeah, on the old boy. I don't know. Well, well that, that sounds like weird. Hurt. Yeah, that's yeah, that that was I used to jar. When I used to jar off, I would go like this, like four times in a session. Jay said it. Back from a base. He got hard every period. Those. Buy them. Yep. Yeah. Those. Those really are. 20% yeah. off. I wish Black I knew Friday now. Sale. Back then, dude. I wish I knew. Man, look at that. It's our, it's, it's, it's telling you. 4.5 oh, in inches. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's telling you. Yeah, in the, the military, t- the guys called them field expedient pocket pussies. And they would take, you know, the big, we wore big, long green socks. So you roll the sock. You know, a rolled sock has a hole. And you put a plastic and you bag put in it. lotion in a condom. And you put it yeah. in the sock hole. And then the guys would fuck them. Yeah, I tried to do Jerkin that. Jerkin World called that a fifi. Oh, Fifi, okay. Freaking world. Sure. I guess in prison they do them too. Dude, the they first time, I think I've told this before, but the first time I ever jerked off, I didn't know there was like anything like weird about it. So I was just posted up in my room with like my door wide open. Yeah. Yeah. That, really? that is insane to me. Like my mom was in the room next to me. Yeah. Dude, so like. That is hilarious. Yeah. Do you ever. That was, like, that's just shame. Like, and yeah. that's a natural yeah. thing. So I don't, Ooh. I didn't understand. I can't comprehend oh, you. those things we catch hands. He didn't really do oh, close doors. Actually, I, get a little really excited I think those are sexy. Like those, like a sexy <laughs> object. Oh, the way it's held up like that. Yeah, that thing talking asking crazy. For it. That thing is talking crazy <laughs> right now. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I used to also I used to jerk off with. I didn't, but I, didn't, I wasn't a lotion person. I didn't know that was a thing, so I would use the hand soap that we yeah, had in our that bathroom. Yeah, you got to learn the hard way with that. Uh, re- rewind. You thought it was no- normal to jack off in front of your mom. He was my, I wasn't in front of my was mom. Open. With the, the door was open and she was next door. No, I read all these parenting books and a lot of kids just start doing it like in the living room in front of their family. And like so that you're supposed to say like safe adults don't want to see that. Just go to your room and do kids it. Are do- what? No shit. Yeah, you're supposed to be like, just go to your room. Have safe adults don't want to see that. I'm using that. Yeah, safe adults don't want to see that. Go to your room. How do you not Fine. know? How are you aren't like, aren't you? In- I didn't know about lotion. They said, they said. I know about lotion. You got no, she just. I was I was, I was using I was using soap and I'd wake up and there'd be a there would be a a glaze over my dick <laughs> <laughs> and then I got like a nasty yeast infection. Will must have used like your mom's anti aging like, washing, washing it off. I used a baby uh, dick. but I got into my mom's lotions a few times. Yeah, nice. First time I ever did, I just peed. I thought that was that was that was busting. Yeah, yeah. Was like, the boys told me about this. Let me try it, and then you just start peeing before you get in the shower. It's so funny. I didn't bust until like ninth grade. I don't think I busted ninth. That yeah, was my first bust. I remember my friends being yeah. like talking about. I was Boston. a very late bloomer. Was Thirteen. So, uh, what were you over my mom's keyboard? Yeah. Probably eighth grade. Really? <laughs> what were you, Will? I mean, I'm I'm thinking fifth. 
What? Yeah, no, that, sixth that's great. That, yeah, I was late. I was late. I was late. I mean, you get the video in sixth grade, the educational video. You're walking in the halls with the pinned up against your waist. I didn't know like, you could. I didn't know you could nut literally until I was 12 years old, and I would just give myself blue balls for hours. No, I would. I would jerk off, but I was shooting blanks. Is what I mean. What do you mean shooting blanks? You would still get the feeling of like I just came. Yeah, just nothing would come out. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, that was. Yeah. That sounds it's like, like Roman. Yeah. Roman. That's what I meant when I said the first time. Yeah. I yeah, it, yeah, it sounds like. like it's the first time he's like air just came out. We were like, yeah. what the fuck are you talking about? I used, I used icy hot uh, one time, and that was Ooh. like the worst mistake I've ever That's made in my bad. entire life. Uh, yeah. I, and I legit, I was 25 years old. I I thought I was changing the game. I, I looked at it. Yeah. At 25. Feels good. I was 25. That's yeah. That's insane. Because Trojan had this. Dude, I started off and it ice. started phenomenal. Fire and ice. And then all of a sudden. Yeah. It was fire and ice. I remember in high school that was Delta was, Blue. Girls put Altoids in your mouth if you like, you know, go to give a blowjob, it'll be like super cold and minty. And it turns out, no. Oh. It burns. It burns them. Burns a guy. Yeah, when you use soap yes. and then you yeah, pee. Dude, I heard like a, yes. when you're a kid, you hear like put ice in your mouth before you eat a girl out. Yeah, I was told. I was told that. that. Yeah, that? the cold the cool touch apparently does something. Yeah. I never did that, but oh, no. I'm thinking maybe I should. I'm I was asking. pretty late to most of this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. 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 I used to think yeah. that having sex was just putting your balls in a girl's vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty young when I thought that. Yeah, Dude, this is the there greatest show of all time. Like you get <laughs> pregnant just by kissing. Yeah, that you're was young. I was the most. It was because that episode of Urkel. He kisses Laura. And all of a sudden, he as they're kissing, it's like, ooh, yeah. he gets pregnant right away. And I, as a kid, I was like, holy what? shit. That's how it happens. What? Yeah. That's what I thought. That is wild. This was a fun uh, memory lane. Yeah. yeah. Just a nice waltz. Yeah. I think. Just a nice waltz. Yeah. <laughs> the, I, we've probably had 200 episodes with this exact comment. Yeah. It's, <laughs> really? it's always the same. Yeah. It's, it's, it's always, always it's, fun. It's always fun. Yeah. Uh, That's hilarious. Yeah, there's new viewers every day. Yeah. You know, so we'll say I never did jerk off in school. No, I've yeah, never I, pray. But I would yeah, be we gotta in get class. Back to that. How, how, how are you doing that? I would that be in school. class really horny, and I'd be like, I'm going to go to the bathroom and jerk off. And then I would stand up, and then I'd be like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> that clarity has to be nuts. Yeah, yeah. Dude, when you're 14, 15 years old, there is no clarity. Yeah. Oh no, that's you're when like, you're ready like, to go. A minute go. later, oh, you're like, I could do that again. I would argue like, that clarity no. is the at the strongest when you're that age. No. For me, it is. Really? Yeah. If Dude. I jerk off now, I feel, I don't feel comfortable after. I was really. I don't like look at myself in the mirror. I'm like, you I don't give just, a fuck. I just violated myself. Back then, I would be like, I'm gonna like kill myself. I was like, I'm doing something horrible. Hang right on, now. you guys are like a decade apart in age. Yeah. How old are you? Twenty seven. No, he's, no, he's not. He's twenty seven. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, mean, I didn't know how to clear. You, did, you, you look super young for twenty seven <laughs> years <laughs> old. That's incredible. I didn't, was so afraid to get caught like searching porn. I didn't know how to delete the history. And I've oh. talked about this, so the only porn I could watch was like on E Bomb's World, and it was a brick breaker game. And if you broke the bricks, you would, like the naked <laughs> picture was behind it. So I was like focused on the game and trying to beat off. <laughs> and uh, I wasn't, you know, it really was an awesome brain exercise. Yeah. But uh, I was like getting too frustrated with the game, and then if I focused on my dick, I would lose the, I, I, you know, I it was bottom up, so I would get to pussy, but then I would never get to tit. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a weird game. You think it would go. Top Here's, to bottom. So, but, so it was like the brick breaker like that was on the phone, so you go break the bricks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Someone should remake that with just like a transgender person. <laughs> so you're being... <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. You got to the top and Here's it's a good a question. dude. <laughs> what uh what music video have you talked to? Oh, try, oh, damn. Looking down. Dude. Oh, that because would be the worst as you're not clarity. <laughs> So you start here seeing like beard hair. <laughs> it's already t- <laughs> <laughs> trying to change the tab to a woman. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking funny. <laughs> what? Yeah, uh, that would be the worst feeling after. Like you just finished, and you're like, "Let me see what she really looks like." Let's get yeah. the high <laughs> score. <laughs> Comes up, like, oh, what? <laughs> oh no, dude. Hey, here's a question. start questioning everything. <laughs> what uh, music video have you tugged it to? Christina Aguilera, Dirty. None, because there was, there was always it better options. Uh, Moulin Rouge. Uh, old. Uh, the one with, uh, with all of them. Oh, I was a Christina Aguilera guy, I guess. The oh. Moulin Rouge soundtrack video. I was tugging it to the uh, the, <laughs> to the to the internship uncensored strip club scene at a at an alarmingly old age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at an age where I just had direct access to porn. 
I remember Titanic. Fire up the Xbox. My mom had the dual <laughs> Titanic VHS, <laughs> and I forgot to like rewind it. So she was like, the ship started like I don't know. Shit was about to go to awry, and she went to the second tape, and it was just like right on the nude scene. Just like I was caught. <laughs> at blows. Oh. Mm. I think the tits were in the first VHS. Uh. I don't know. Man, thank God for the internet. Yeah. Imagine going back, like growing up with magazines. Your boy would go up in his treehouse because that's where every kid goes. Yeah. Cruise up there, and you guys are just equally horny together, looking at some looking girl. At, uh, I think I, I would have given up all sex and porn for a treehouse. There's nothing I wanted more. <laughs> <laughs> treehouse. Yeah, I only ever, I only ever saw him in movies. Until you got the treehouse. Never. No, I've never seen a treehouse in. Person. Not in a tree. Not a treehouse proper. Not no, a not no. an actual tree. Yeah, ever watched that point. show? That's a like good point. I've never house. actually oh, yeah. seen a treehouse in yeah. person yeah. that you see in movies. Never. And that ladder would be. I don't think my body. I don't think I could climb up there. <laughs> nothing I, like I wanted. There's nothing I wanted more than a, a go kart and a treehouse. It would never just had either. It neither. would just be a couple boards like you nailed into the tree. In the back. Oh, this is it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. I grew up in Arizona. There's like no. There's no trees. Yeah. I never. That was a fantasy world to me. Our township was Damn. getting rid of telephone poles, and I don't know why, but they like were like, if anybody wants them. So my neighbor bought full size telephone poles. And all the neighborhood dads spent an entire summer just drinking beers, building a tree house and these telephone. But we were like 15, 16 by then. <laughs> so it was more like the dads just wanted an excuse to drink and hang yeah. out for the summer. Well, tree houses we, like be never really things. used it. It was like a little house on telephone poles, like way up in their backyard, which is pretty cool. With the wires just dangling. It would be cool, that, yeah. be cool <laughs> to have a tree house <laughs> now yeah. as a kid. Like I had my, uh, my neighbor... He and I have been talking about building a treehouse bar on our property line. Yeah, that's that cool. would be awesome. I think that would be electric. Idea. That would be an awesome situation. As a kid, yeah. though, you really don't know how to take advantage of that. No, no, you no. really don't. I kind of just hang out up there. there. You're like, this is my space. Yeah, like, that's it. Yeah, because yeah. legit, when I was younger, like it was the closet. Like I would always like close the closet up, but I have like okay, this I this is my part of the house. Right, right. Or you build a tent like with the furniture. Oh, I love. Oh, building. that was. Oh my job. god, forts out of cushions. Yeah, but yes, one brother. one oh. wrong move in or out of that fort, and the whole fucking thing's yeah, coming. You'd down. have toys yeah. sitting on just yeah. up. Yeah, Taylor, things down. Not my forts. <laughs> oh really? Structurally sound. Seriously. Yeah, we had yeah, we had, had a really. Movies couch. had the best forts too. Yeah, snow forts. In movies, or maybe just one movie. Snow Day. Snow Day, yeah. yeah. I that tried is... to make, I tried so hard that to fort, make it. Fort, oh my pull. god, there's nothing I would want more. So what? I tried so hard to make one of those snow forts, it's just impossible I always tried. I remember I tried to make an actual no. fort with like wood and hammers and nails. <laughs> Didn't do it? No. I remember I got like super yeah, like Hollywood stupid. too. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was going to be like a carpenter, and I like... And I would just like go into like our shed and just be like bang, <laughs> banging shit around. Yeah. Like I'm building something. Nothing was getting done. <laughs> no, if, I, I would watch a show of like people competing to build the best fort. Yeah, that would be sick. It would be, yeah. Like the show that. alone? I'd watch that show. Yeah. Is it like, like a, have you seen the show alone? Oh, yeah, it's awesome. Oh, like That's where they event. get dropped off in the yeah, In BC. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. where oh, my awesome. wife is from, not those islands, but like in that area. So they have to build their own house. That's the one, right? Yeah, they literally, there's yeah, guys yeah, that like yeah. build their own cabins. Yeah. There was that Loose guy that term cabin, them. but yeah. like they have fire and everything. It's incredible. I would last, I would last 30 minutes. Yeah. Oh, I would die. I have zero survival <laughs> I skills. I could anything. Zero no. survival I'm trying skills. to think of what I could build. You are the least like technical. I can't use my ever. hands. Oh, you can't. We were trying to think of the most high tech thing Kyle could use on his own, mm. and I think it's one of those like wire head massagers. But I'd have to bend out the wires. <laughs> Crown Royal bag though, that's pretty innovative. That's yeah. pretty, the, the horny I'm mind is sure yeah, it's, it's beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm. man. If only you could have used that for good. <laughs> that's not like some crazy development. What? The Crown Royal bag. You guys are giving me too many flowers. You fuck. No way, dude. I would see it and be like, I. Oh, okay. not fucking that. Thanks, not kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, you look at it and go, yeah, she's hot, but like, I don't know if I could get her. That would be a good game show. You bring an object to somebody, like, can you fuck it? Yeah. yeah. You fuck I'd it. tap out a, a shoebox. Oh, 100%. Yeah. You would tap a shoebox before? Yeah. You were the Tesla of Nikola Tesla. <laughs> shoe- I really appreciate fucking. this vote of confidence. Yeah. I needed that. <laughs> I'm just when I said the like- shoebox thing, you guys didn't say, like, oh, yeah, I was like, no, no one was literally like, no one on that really one. I'm trying to think of shoebox when you know you either have some stuffed animals or like pi- like pillows right there. Mm-hmm. Oh. You know them. Pillows. I never thought about a pillow, but if you want to speak your truth, you're more than welcome. It's not to. that. It's I felt comfortable when Big Mouth came out because I was like, oh shit, this is he's fucking his pillow. Yeah, yeah this is a common thing. And that kid's a fucking genius yeah. too with the microwave macaroni and all that. Yeah, in yeah. there. But like a shoebox might be the least sexy object <laughs> yeah. ever. Yeah, I don't. Made. Trying to think. Your mom's hush puppies. I don't know, dude. 
Huh. Like literally, you got attracted to the shoebox just because you saw a hole in the side. Cut. Yeah, because you're just laying in bed horny. You don't know what's what, dude. The internet just came out. Yeah. I didn't know what it was going to supply me with. One thing that I used to you get around the uh, the jerk off thing with your parents seeing it is MySpace back in the day. Jerk off to like Tila Tequila. No, you could, like you know you can get in rabbit holes. You see people's. You probably go to Tila Tequila, and then Better? her top friends. You'd find a couple people yeah. that would have like. She's a Nazi. Yeah. Hump day, yeah. and then it'd be some girl dressed up in a certain way. Oh, oh yeah. Two weeks ago. You met Flavor Flav too. Yeah, weeks he ago? was at the Michigan game. Yeah. He's doing magic now. The magician. Yeah. I love He's that. Does he look yeah. alive? <laughs> yeah, he was still doing that. Yeah. He's doing. That's <laughs> a giant clock too. Though. Like that's tough when you really put yourself into a hole like that. You, like, can't you put yourself into a corner it. with you the. Always have to have it. Gotta have a big clock. I really wanted it. I wanted to ask for it, but I didn't feel like it was the time. Time sticking. Remember when he got married to the uh, the Russian's wife in Rocky Four. Flavor Flav? Flavor Flav? Flavor Flav. Remember that tall chick, that blonde? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, was the Bridget. Wife. Or was that her name? That was the wife. I was obsessed was she on with Flavor Flav. Oh, you mean, yeah. I thought Brigitte. she was in the movie. Brigitte. Brigitte Nielsen, I think. Yeah. There, was, there was a whole show. It was a VH1 reality show about oh, God, those two. Yeah. They but then were he together. Say that again. Brigitte Nielsen, I believe. Yeah. Uh, there was a whole yeah. VH1 reality Actress, right? show about those two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Flav, for, not yeah. Flavor of Love. Because she was like... The main one. She was like, their love story had a like a reality show, I yes, feel like. Yes, yes, Because he did the Flavor Flav stuff. Yes, yes, yes. And then kind of yeah. went back to her type of thing. Or, yeah, yeah. But yeah, she was, uh, she was in Rocky Four. I had no idea. She smoked? Uh, she was tall. Yeah, I mean, Duh. she had... She, she she had was like uh, 80s oh, hot. Like tall. Like there was like, a, it was like <laughs> an is, 80s Is she hot? Fucked, she was tall. She was tall. Box, yeah. So yeah, yeah, she was yeah, hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to think of a situation where the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she was hot. But she had like this... Shall I like this? Uh, Go ahead. I don't know what I'm trying Tick. to say here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you talking about in the movie? Little... In the movie, right? Rocky Four. Yeah, she's like when I say like 90s hot, 80s hot. She had and she was like, in a power a position. Yeah, she yeah, was just yeah. like you know that's my shoulder pads who were in. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, she she was kind of yeah. There she is, right there. Pregnant at 54. Whoa. Good for her. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he really was like that though in person. Yeah, he was exactly what you'd expect him to be. Yeah, yeah. it was about it. I, f- I must feel bad. I, I would rather that be a character. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's gotta be exhausting. It obviously is. It's just him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know when people find their own like catchphrases or slogans. Mm-hmm. Like you hear a new joke from a friend, then all of a sudden you want to tell that joke seventeen more times, and you realize, oh, I'm just been saying the same joke around Will for five days straight. <laughs> it's like he's just living that life, and everyone's like, oh, it's flavor. That's yeah. flavor. <laughs> That's Please, flavor is my father. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh man! All Roll right, back. what's up? Roback. Oh, we have another ad. And while we're at it, big shout out to Brandon G. Spent I know. Holy shit. Twenty nine dollars. Nothing compared to these guys. They yeah, my guys. God, you guys had a yeah, fan spend. That was five nuts. Five that was nuts. Holy the tier so ones, the tier ones grand. go hard, yeah. dude. Shout out them. That's amazing. Fifteen hundred is crazy, though. Nick, wait. Before we do the ad, we have a couple of these to give away. But why do I have to wait? Well, I've been waiting for this for a little while. All right. Okay. Um, Kyle S. gets a uh, Kyle B's. Wow. Ooh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, Joe R. gets uh, uh, Ebo's jacket. Yay. Ebo. Ooh. No, no, no. That's Evan uh, Memes. Oh, that's Memes. Sorry, sorry. <sighs> Matt S. is going to get Handsome Hank. Wow. That's a good that's one. That's a good one. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then Cameron S. is going to get mine. Oh. And they <laughs> will be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, all right. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> You sh- probably could take the names off if you wanted yeah, to. It's got to be like some sort of thread cutter. They will be just as wrinkly when they arrive. Clothes you don't want to edit, though. Uh, mm. Roback. Those are great as is. Mm. Aren't they, boys? Outstanding. Roback activewear. Uh, best way to describe Roback is the best fit, best feel. We can't stop wearing Roback. And when it comes to quality, these guys don't miss. It's perfect for a nice fall day or a football Sunday. You likely will never want to take these off. We've been rocking them everywhere. So trust us. Sass, what's your favorite piece from Roback? Definitely the joggers. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm I wore that say. blue Roback hoodie all weekend traveling because it's so soft and it's like not too heavy, but it's not. Too, it's like I wore it literally for four days straight. It's I changed clothes, really but good. when I changed clothes, it was, it was Roback. <laughs> uh, use code YAK 
Y-A-K at Roback.com for a generous 20% off your first purchase through the end of the week. R-H-O-B-A-C-K dot com for 20% off polos, Q-zips, hoodies, code YAK. Roback joggers are here. It's time to hop on board. And that was an excellent ad read. Thank you. Yes. Thank yeah. you. That was excellent. Yeah, I've learned. I've been trained. It's great. Just to not be so good. Hey, you're preaching the choir right now, bud. You should see me read. It's tough. <laughs> yeah. Thank, it's God, thank God football worked out. It's yeah. a good time. I yeah. love when the I love the Titans TikToks when they go around like who's like the least funniest on the yeah. team. Do yeah. they like make you do those or is they ask you sometimes and you tell them yes or tell them no based on the conversation. Yeah. But it's always the same thing. Like who's the best dressed? Yeah, they're not who's got creative the best style? at all. Yeah, it's, it's tough. Funny to see them just talk. They always pile up on one person. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's usually that's Derrick Henry or that's Kevin life. Byard. That's yeah. life. Yeah. yeah. Somebody's got to get piled up on. I don't know why the Except Titans football or the NFL well. in general doesn't have better social media presence. Like, get the guy from Wendy's yeah. or somewhere that they can just talk shit. Cause that's like. Because people appreciate the less clean absolutely. cut. Absolutely. Like any team that yeah. does absolutely. anything outside the yeah. boring, bland, whatever. It's like whatever. they just figured out social media. Yeah. I feel like the Chargers, have Chargers are great. Yeah, yeah I was going to say really the Chargers gosh. have somebody that's pretty funny. Just They're, do the uh, same. This, they all do the same thing. Your schedule oh, announcement was really good. The Chargers, they did a good yeah. job. Like, shut up! Like, what's your favorite and Thanksgiving food? What's yeah. the most overrated Halloween candy? Like, and they made fun of uh, Acho for calling Herbert a social media quarterback. Yeah, last week. I, I love that. Anytime you control. So Acho, somebody had Thanksgiving. the Chargers account before the Chargers. Well, I didn't. See, I've never seen so the Chargers. Their first tweet ever was like going to PF Chang's with the wife. Saw that. Yeah. Now the Chargers. <laughs> <laughs> the Chargers yeah. first ever tweet. Yeah. But then when Twitter was about to shut down, they brought it back and re- they tweeted yeah, it again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. That's so funny. Yeah, it's great. Did you see the one they did this weekend? No, what was uh, it? W- when did you guys first start jerking off? Was oh, like yeah, the Chargers like, are asking Whoa. that. No, they hey, hey. really. They, they really. really good. All what the th- players had really great answers. Yeah, yeah. I would like to know. Yeah. Eckler was young because I yeah. he went bald early because that's a high, high <laughs> test kind of guy. <laughs> like, they really oh, asked I need to find my wife and head up to P.F. Chang's. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was just like a guy had back in 07 yeah, they, yeah they bought the account from him and just like let him do the job <laughs> whenever like, like a new Twitter social media account. comes out we should just like hop on every one word there's got to be yeah. teams of people who it's do a business that. yeah it's like a pseudo business like buying and selling like domain names oh people get swatted for it for names. like people get their accounts robbed go, yeah, yeah people... compton.com let's go to that right. whenever well, I bring this up, up somebody will buy it and turn it into something because tommysmokes.com what is it right now I don't know that's willcompton.com like the price of it no no uh, let's see if somebody has it oh <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> that's why oh, no way. What? what this guy wrong. <laughs> it's, it's, so much it's such an easy photo too to just photoshop my damn <laughs> yep. face on dude this was so much better than anything i could have imagined. wait what's his songs he has got sovereign let's hear it <laughs> dude you're number two Oh, Will! Holy shit! I like how his picture was him with a saxophone. I right. Know. Hey, you Will. saw that thing just yeah. hanging in the was left hand? Expect- some, some smooth jazz. I didn't even notice that the first time. <laughs> yeah, I was like too focused on everything. I was looking at the shoulders, how they're just so pointed at the end there. This is, this has to be a, a European, right? Yeah, who's the yeah. guy from yeah. Grandma's Boy that's like, sit <laughs> on my face? Yeah, he's it's the very, boss like, that. JB. Uh, Grandma's Boy, what a great such a movie. Good movie. Yeah. Very underrated. Such a good movie. The internship was another one that was pulled out earlier that is an good outstanding movie. underrated movie. Yeah. Good movie. Good strip club good scene. Flick. Yeah. Good strip yeah. club Good strip club Great scene. strip club scene. Dude, having yeah. access to the internet but still jerking off to a DVD. Yeah. <laughs> That's outstanding. Oh. Yeah. God. All right. You guys have stuff to do? Yeah, we're late to KFC. We oh, shit. Yeah. All right, boys. All right. We're gonna do that. It's the Yak. It's been Thank a you, pleasure. Boys. Thank you, Taylor and Will. Who do we got? I the final, you guys, man. Yeah. final winner. Oh, yeah. Brandon G. Big Cat Woo! is flying you out. Dude, let's go. Hotel. Good job, you get Brandon. To be on the Yak for a day. Hell yeah. There's five kiss coins left. By There's them five now. kiss five coins. Five kiss left. coins. My God. Thank you so Ali. much to everybody who bought stuff. Uh, Very cool. Much appreciated. Nice. Good to see you. Tune into the telethon tonight. Tune into the telethon. Willie, I'll talk to you later.
Thanks, Brandon, for spending all that money. Tune in tonight.